Wingman Joker thank you for listening to this channel and please support the channel. Please subscribe. Chapter 1. Full-time career experience system. Lin Yi, pack your things and leave. The sales manager of Chaoyang Group, Yu Lily, said. I'm being fired. Lin Yi paused. I was doing fine, why am I being fired? The company doesn't think you're suitable for this job, so they don't need you anymore. Lin Yi was an employee in the sales department of the Chaoyang Group. He had not taken a day off from work for more than half a year. He thought that he would get a promotion and a raise if he put in so much effort. However, he never thought that he would be fired today. Manager Yu, you're going too far. You're firing me for no reason just because I don't give you gifts. That's a bit unreasonable, isn't it? Lin Yi argued. Reasonable. What right do you have to be reasonable with me? Do you really think you're a piece of meat? I have a meeting soon. Let's go. Don't waste my time. Yu Lily waved her hand impatiently and left with the documents in her hands. Thus, Lin Yi was the only one left in the office. Now that he had no job, even food and clothing would be a problem in the future. What the FCK, Lin Yi cursed. Luckily, I have a shabby sherry. I'll go out and drive for Didi. That way I shouldn't starve to death yet. Ding, full class experience system activated. A new class will be activated every week. Completing the built-in mission in the system will allow you to receive the ultimate reward, assisting the host to become a global boss. Experience class, DD driver. Class completion rate, 0%. If within a week, the class completion rate is above 90%, you can activate a new class ahead of time. If you reach 100%, you will receive a mysterious gift. Please receive the DD driver registration gift pack, $10 million. 100% controlling stake of Peninsula Hotel. The Pagani Zonda worth 28 million. What the FCK? Seeing the notification in his mind, Lin Yi was in a bad mood. He was a loyal fan of online novels, so he naturally knew what the system was. He just didn't expect to encounter it. System, what if the completion rate doesn't reach 100% within a week? The host can choose to open a new class, or continue with the current class until the completion rate reaches 100%, at which point the new class will automatically open. Through the system's explanation, Lin Yi understood the specific functions. The system's flexibility was very high, and the initiative was basically in his hands. This was great. Collect. Lin Yi didn't hesitate. Ding, $10 million has been transferred into the host's account. The Peninsula Hotel requires the host to register on the spot. The Pagani Zonda is parked in the Chaoyang Group parking lot, area C, number 22. You can see the car keys in the elevator. At that moment, Lin Yi received a text message on his phone. Your savings card account with the end number 4255, April 27, 9.48 p.m., net income and expenditure $10 million, current balance R $10,101.15. Construction Bank. At the same time, another text message came. Congratulations, you've registered as the owner of Didi. Taking a deep breath, Lin Yi calmed down. The system was here, so what was the point of having this lousy job? Excitement. Ring, ring, ring. At this time, Lin Yi's phone rang. It was his girlfriend, Lu Cici. Lin Yi, let's break up. You don't have to come to my birthday party, and don't call me again. Lu Cici's cold voice surprised Lin Yi. Are you serious? Of course. I've been with you for so many years, but what did you ever buy for me? I can't even afford to buy a broken phone when I'm with you. I don't want to waste my youth on you. Are you sure you won't regret it? Haha, ha, regret, I've been with you for more than half a year. This, is the thing I regret the most. From now on, don't contact me. Alright then, let's part on good terms. Lin Yi did not say anything else and hung up the phone. Looks like the system isn't the only thing that's appeared. There are other scenes in the novel as well. Let's break up then. The next one will be even better. Lin Yi cursed in his heart as he stretched lazily. Other matters weren't important. He decided he had better go check on his sports car first. Lin Yi made up his mind and ran out of the office like a madman. The other colleagues around shook their heads helplessly. Poor Lin Yi. He's a good person, but he's too straight-edged. He'd be able to get away with it if he gave the boss a gift every new year. Sigh. The number one handsome man in our company is gone. He doesn't even have a girlfriend anymore. The old witch has hinted at him a few times, but he didn't agree. We just couldn't keep him around. How pitiful. There was a delivery bag inside the elevator. Lin Yi opened it without needing any explanation. 
As expected, it was the car keys to the Pagani. Lin Yi ran straight to Area C, 22 when he reached the underground garage. He was familiar with this location. His little sherry was parked at Area C, 21. What's wrong? Why won't it start? In front of Lin Yi stood a woman in a beige dress. Her makeup was exquisite, and her nose was straight. She was wearing black stockings and high heels on her long legs. Her voluptuous figure was perfect, and it was hard to take one's eyes off her. Boss Ji, Lin Yi asked tentatively when he saw the figure in front of him. Lin Yi didn't see who it was because he was standing at the side, but he recognized the car. President Ji owned the only Maserati in the company. The person called President Ji was called Ji Qingyan, the president of the Chaoyang group. Ji Qingyan swept her hair to the side and looked at Lin Yi when she heard someone call her name. Are you Lin Yi from the sales department? President Ji, you still remember me? He was just an unknown employee, a transparent figure. However, even as a high and mighty president, she still remembered him. This was surprising. I saw you once, so I remembered you. Ji Qingyan would never admit that it was because of Lin Yi's good looks that she remembered him. President Ji, is there something wrong with your car? Lin Yi asked. Ji Qingyan nodded and said anxiously. It was fine when I drove here during the day. I don't know what happened, but now it's not working. I'm not good at repairing cars. If you have something urgent, you can take my car. Ji Qingyan frowned slightly before finally nodding in agreement. I need to go to the construction bureau to meet the chief. Please send me there. No problem. Lin Yi smiled. My car is in Area C. You can follow me there. Area C of the parking lot was the parking space allocated for the employees. It would take a while to get there. Okay, thank you. Ji Qingyan didn't know that Lin Yi had been fired, but she was still very polite. Just then, a person walked out from behind them and said with a smile. Qingyan, I heard that your car broke down. Where do you want to go? I'll send you. Why bother troubling others? Chapter 2. Only rich people can have beautiful women. The two turned around and saw a young man talking. He was wearing a casual suit and a Vacheron Constantine watch, appearing very high profile. Lin Yi had some impression of the man in front of him. He seemed to be the young master of the navigation group, known as Li Yunhang. The navigation group was a little bigger than Chaoyang group, and he had been madly pursuing Ji Qingyan for the past six months. However, Ji Qingyan never had the slightest feelings toward him. Though he seemed helpless, the other party had not given up and continued pestering her until today. Why are you here? Ji Qingyan asked coldly. I originally wanted to come here to discuss some matters, but it just so happened that your car has broken down. Coincidentally, I just bought a Lamborghini Huracan that costs more than $2 million. If you want to use a car, you can just take my car. Ji Qingyan's Maserati wasn't as expensive. It was only worth a million yuan, half as much as Li Yunhang's Lamborghini. However, she still had the right to show off. Even so, Lin Yi felt that this was rather strange. How did Li Yunhang happen to appear right after Ji Qingyan's car broke down? He was probably behind this whole thing. Forget it, my colleague has a car too. I'll just take his car. As she spoke, Ji Qingyan gave Lin Yi a look. Let's go. Okay, President Ji, I heard what you guys said just now. He's just a small employee in your company. He only drives a domestic car. It can't be compared to my Lamborghini. So what if it's a domestic car? Ji Qingyan said, it's fine as long as I like it. Ji Qingyan didn't want to bother with Li Yunhang anymore and walked toward Area C alongside Lin Yi. As soon as they reached Area C, Ji Qingyan and Li Yunhang both froze. They were all attracted by the silver Pagani Zephyr. Ji Qingyan was a little puzzled. Whose car was this? Why was it parked here? If there was a big shot around, why didn't she know about it? President Ji, this Pagani Zonda seems to be worth more than 28 million yuan. It couldn't be that you just bought it, right? Li Yunhang was trying to trick Ji Qingyan. This car was enough to buy 10 Lamborghini Hurricanes. If it really was hers, then it would be a little awkward. This car isn't mine, you're overthinking things. Li Yunhang instantly became confident again. That's why we should take the Lamborghini. No matter what, it'd be faster than his domestic car. I'm not interested in sports cars. I like to take domestic cars. Ji Qingyan looked at Lin Yi. Where's your car? Let's go now. It's over there. Lin Yi pointed at the Pagani. However, Ji Qingyan and Li Yunhang misunderstood. They thought that Lin Yi was referring to the shabby sherry. After all, Lin Yi was just a small employee, so how could he afford to drive such a luxury car? Haha, <laughs> it's a shabby sherry. 
Looking at the sorry state of this car, it's probably more than 10 years old. It's probably not even worth as much as one of my tires. Li Yunhang was about to burst into tears. President Ji, with your condition, I don't think you've ever sat in such a shabby car in your life. What's wrong with the Sherry? It's fine as long as it can fetch you around. Don't tell me your Lamborghini can fly in the sky. As she spoke, Ji Qingyun walked toward Lin Yi's shabby Sha Li in her high heels. Let's go, get in the car, Ji Qingyun said as she stood by the passenger seat. Lin Yi didn't say anything as he pressed the car keys in his pocket. DD, the Pagani's headlights lit up, and the gull wing door opened automatically, giving both Ji Qingyun and Li Yunhang a fright. Was the owner here? President Ji, you're standing at the wrong place. This Pagani is mine too. What did you say? This Pagani is yours. Ji Qingyun asked in shock. He was just a small employee in the sales department. How could he afford to drive such a luxurious car? It was not possible, right? It really is mine. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to open the door. Lin Yi said with a smile. As she walked to the passenger seat of the Pagani, Ji Qingyun still couldn't believe it. As the boss, even she didn't drive such a good car. How could he own it? Bro, driving a Huracan and trying to hit on. Our President Ji, that's a bit lacking. Lin Yi meaningfully patted Li Yunhang's shoulder and got into the driver's seat. Li Yunhang was dumbfounded. He felt a burning pain on his face. You can't slap my face like that. Ji Qingyun, didn't you say that you don't like to ride in sports cars? Why did you get into his car? Li Yunhang asked hesitantly. I don't like other people's sports cars. I just like riding in his sports car. The door closed with a smack. It was as if he had slapped Li Yunhang in the face again. Inside the car, Lin Yi was a little nervous. After all, it was his first time driving a sports car, so he wasn't used to it yet. Fortunately, he had watched a lot of sports car test driving videos online, so he knew how to drive this thing. Otherwise, he would lose face in front of Ji Qingyun. Lin Yi, aren't you a sales employee? Why are you driving this car? Questions filled Ji Qingyun's mind, and she simply could not figure out what was going on. Ah, I just wanted to experience the life of an ordinary person, that's why I came to work. I didn't expect to be fired for no reason. Lin Yi sighed. Okay, I'll stop pretending. I'm actually a rich second generation kid. My next job is to drive Didi and experience the life of an ordinary person. Ji Qingyun was stunned for a second before she burst out laughing. Don't tease me. Do you really think I'd believe you? No one will believe me if I tell you the truth. I won't explain further. All right, hurry up and drive. I still have urgent matters to attend to. No problem. Don't forget to give me a five-star review after this, Lin Yi said. I think you're too deep in character and really think you're a DD driver. Why would I lie to you? See for yourself. Lin Yi took out his phone, and Ji Qingyun was shocked when she saw it. Was he really the owner of a DD car? Was he really a rich kid who was going out to experience life? Was that not a little too weird? You're really the owner of a DD car? Of course, President Ji, do you want to place an order to support me? You'll be my first passenger. Ji Qingyun laughed. Looks like I'll have that honor. As she spoke, Ji Qingyun took out her phone and signed up for the DD app. Under Lin Yi's guidance, she registered an account and placed an order. According to the rules regarding the nearest delivery order, Ji Qingyun's order was snatched up by Lin Yi. Thus, he began his journey as a DD driver. He stepped on the accelerator and a roar that sounded like it came from a monster sounded. Such strong waves made Ji Qingyun a little scared and she subconsciously fastened her seatbelt. Lin Yi glanced at Ji Qingyun. What are you looking at? Hurry up and drive, Ji Qingyun scolded. No problem. As they drove, the 28 million Paganini Zonda instantly became the focus of attention on the road. F asterisk CK, it's the Paganini Zonda. I heard that it's worth 28 million. Look at the woman in the passenger seat. She's even prettier than the car. As expected, only the rich can have beautiful women. Ellipsis. Lin Yi drove Ji Qingyun to her destination amidst the envious glares of the crowd. Thank you for bringing me here. Lin Yi was no longer his employee, so she had to be more polite. It's okay, when you go back, if you're not willing to take a taxi, remember to place a request for me. Didi's driver will be at your service. Add me on WeChat, will it be convenient for me to contact you? Of course, the two of them added each other on WeChat and Lin Yi drove off. At the same time, the system notification sounded in Lin Yi's mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing the first order. Reward is 50,000 experience points. 
Job completion 5%. Reward is $50 million. Chapter 3. Claim the Hotel. F asterisk CK. Lin Yi was surprised to see the reward from the system. $50 million after completing an order. Exciting. Adding this to the $10 million he received before, it totaled $60 million in liquid assets. Apart from that, he also had the Peninsula Hotel. He could be considered a rich man now. Lin Yi rubbed his chin. Although the rewards were tempting, the Peninsula Hotel was still waiting for him to claim it. It just so happened that no one had placed another DD order yet, so he went to claim the hotel first. The Peninsula Hotel was a standard five-star hotel, and it was one of the top hotels in Zhanghai. There were even many celebrities who had come here to hold weddings. It was obvious how luxurious it was. In the past, Lin Yi only dared to look at it from afar when he passed by this place. He didn't expect it to belong to him now. Life was so full of ups and downs. After parking his car, Lin Yi entered the hotel. As soon as he stepped into the hotel, he heard a series of chatters. Yun Jia, thank you for booking my birthday party here. It's my first time being in such a luxurious hotel. You're welcome, it's all part of my job. The guy who spoke had an ordinary appearance, but his clothes were very stylish. He enjoyed the envious gazes of others. His name was Yun Jia. His family was in the timber business, and he was considered a little rich in Zhanghai. He drove a Mercedes-Benz E-Class car worth more than $500,000. It was many times better than Lin Yi's old shabby sherry. Lu Cici and Yun Jia met at the bar the previous night. They chatted on WeChat for the whole night and she found out that he came from a decent family, so she ditched Lin Yi and chose to be with Yun Jia. Meanwhile, Yun Jia didn't disappoint Lu Cici. After learning that it was her birthday today, he changed the venue of the birthday party to the Peninsula Hotel. Muma, I love you so much. The voice sounded familiar. Lin Yi turned his head and realized that it was Lu Cici. Lin Yi was a little surprised. He didn't expect her to change the venue of the party to the Peninsula Hotel. However, there were two other people besides Lu Cici. They looked familiar to Lin Yi. They seemed to be her best friends whom he had met a few times before. As for the rest of them, Lin Yi didn't know them. They were probably friends of the guy. What's the big deal? The Peninsula Hotel is expensive, but with my wealth, I can still come here once in a while. Darling, I wish I'd met you earlier, Lu Cici said sweetly. It's okay. Now that you're with me, I'll make you the happiest woman in the world. Cici, look, isn't that Lin Yi? Hearing her best friend's voice, Cici looked toward the door. She realized that the person standing in front of the hotel was really Lin Yi. Lin Yi, what are you doing here? Cici's expression changed instantly. She had already told him that the two of them were done with each other, but he seemed to still be chasing after her. He was really haunting her. This isn't your house. Can't I enter the place? Lin Yi said, didn't I already call you? I told you not to come. Why are you still here? Lu Cici questioned. It's over between us. I hope you won't bother me anymore. Even if you kneel down and beg me, it's impossible for things to continue between us. Just die. At that moment, Yun Jia and his friend walked over before the former wrapped Lu Cici in their arms. Your name is Lin Yi, right? Cici told me about you, but from now on, Cici is mine. I hope you won't bother her anymore. Jia bro, don't waste your time with this loser. It's a waste of time, one of Yun Jia's friends said. You're right, it's not worth it to waste your time with him. Yun Jae smiled at Lu Cici. Cici, he's your ex-boyfriend at the end of the day. You can handle this yourself. I have a friend coming over later. I don't want him to get in the way. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get rid of him right now. Lu Cici looked at Lin Yi and said earnestly. I know you're not happy about this, so you didn't even go to work. You came here on purpose to ask me for an explanation. Well, let me make things clear to you. Yun Jia and I are true love. No matter what you say, it won't change our relationship. You should give up and leave now. Why did I leave? Lin Yi said, who said I came here to see you? Hee <laughs> hee, Lu Cici put her hands on her chest and laughed coldly. If you didn't come here to see me, did you come here to eat? Open your eyes and look carefully. This is the Peninsula Hotel, a place only rich people can visit. Did you want to come here to spend money after closing the sale of a shabby sherry? What a joke, Cici's right, her best friend added. Lin Yi, although you're handsome, you can't compare to Yun Jia in other aspects. He's not only richer than you, but he also has many connections. You'd better give up and stop struggling. 
Yeah, even the manager gave him 95% off when he came here to eat. Do you have the ability to do that? Another girlfriend said, 95% discount. Lin Yi smiled, let me see who has the power to do that. At that moment, hurried footsteps sounded. A dozen men and women in black suits jogged over from not far away. Hee <laughs> hee, didn't you want to see who has the power to do that? Well, he's here, Yun Jia said. The man in the lead is the manager of the Peninsula Hotel, Wang Tianlong. My dad knows him, he's the one who gave me the discount. Brother Jia, let's ignore him. Since manager Wang is here, let's go and greet him first, said Lu Cici. That's good. After all, they are all famous people. Yun Jia tidied up his clothes and walked toward Wang Tianlong. However, just as he was about to greet him, Wang Tianlong pushed him away. Get out of my way. Yun Jia and Lu Cici were stunned. They were quite polite when they met just now, but why was he so arrogant now? The men walked past Yun Jia and Lu Cici before standing in front of Lin Yi, bowing forward 90 degrees. Director Lin, you're here. Chapter 4. Lin Yi will forgive me. He called Lin Yi Director Lin. Lu Cici was so shocked that she almost lost her footing. Was he not just a lousy salesman? How could he be the boss of the Peninsula Hotel? The Peninsula Hotel's annual revenue was over 100 million. One month's revenue was enough to cover the annual earnings of the Yun Jia family. She had missed out on such a rich man. At this moment, Lu Cici felt like she was a sand sculpture, the kind that was super big. Looking at the manager of the Peninsula Hotel, Lin Yi nodded and said lightly. Let's go. From today onwards, we are colleagues. Yes, yes, yes. You are right, Director Lin. Lin Yi's words shocked the middle and upper management of the hotel. The person who bought the Peninsula Hotel was so young and so amiable. It was unbelievable. Director Lin, let's go to the meeting room upstairs. You are the owner of the hotel now, so we need to report to you about our work. Okay, let's go. Lin Yi was trying his best to adapt to his identity. This was his business now, he had to get to know it better. Boss Lin, this way please. Under the escort of a group of executives, Lin Yi arrived at the meeting room on the fifth floor. Boss Lin, these are our financial statements, as well as the recent expenditure reports. You can take a look at them first. Looking at the pile of documents on the table, Lin Yi realized he had underestimated the management costs of a hotel. He was not even a professional, while even someone experienced would need a few days to finish reading everything. I'm not going to read these anymore. Everything will operate according to the old business model, Lin Yi said. You don't need to be so suspicious. Even though I'm the new boss and we've never interacted before, I see sincerity in your eyes. I believe that you won't make a mistake. Lin Yi had been in sales for more than a year, and he didn't even hesitate to say such things. Lin Yi's words made the middle and upper management of the hotel extremely grateful. It was their first meeting today, and they didn't expect the new boss to trust them so much. It was so touching. Thank you for your trust, boss. We'll do our best and strive to achieve greater things. Okay, I believe in you. Dang dang dang. Just as Lin Yi was about to leave, there was an urgent knock on the door. Come in, Lin Yi said. A female employee of the Peninsula Hotel came in. She was very anxious. Manager Wang, the customer of room 1704 wants to file a complaint against us. We couldn't stop them. Please handle it quickly. A complaint against us. For what? She submitted an application for a car rental service to our hotel yesterday, but the Mercedes-Benz she wanted to rent happened to be forcefully borrowed by a VIP customer instead. We provided a car exchange service, but she didn't accept it and insisted on filing a complaint against us, so. Tianlong didn't say anything. The boss was here, so he had to see what the latter wanted first. You guys go handle your own matters. I'll go check it out. Lin Yi got up and walked out. Although he didn't know much about the rules and regulations of the hotel, VIP users did indeed enjoy more privileges than ordinary guests. The hotel seemed to have acted appropriately. Lin Yi took the elevator to the 17th floor and knocked on the door of room 1704. I'm telling you guys, if you don't give me a reasonable explanation for this, all. The door opened and Ji Yu Jingshu was stunned when she saw the person standing at the door. This, where did this little brother come from? He's too handsome, are you the one who's going to file a complaint against us? Lin Yi asked, no, it's fine, it's not a big deal. Just arrange for another car for me, Ji Yu Jingshu said in a ladylike manner. Who would have the heart to file a complaint against such a handsome little brother? She actually yelled at such a handsome brother. Her ladylike image was ruined. 
I have a Pagani. If you don't mind, you can drive it. What? What did you say? You want to lend me a Pagani to drive? That's right. In terms of quality, it should be better than a Mercedes-Benz. Forget it. With my financial resources, I can afford to rent a Mercedes-Benz, but I can't afford a car like a Pagani, Ji Yu Jingshu said. Besides, even if I could afford it, I wouldn't know how to drive it. It's said that supercars handle differently from other cars. How about this? Where do you want to go? I'll drive you there. She was a guest of the hotel. After such a thing happened, he could only drive her for free. It would not be counted as a DD order. You want to drive me there? Ji Yu Jingshu was so surprised that she could not close her mouth. Such a handsome young man was giving her a ride to the wedding in a Pagani. Did she save the world in her previous life? That's not good, I'd be troubling you. If you don't want to, then forget it. I'll try to get you a Mercedes Benz as soon as possible. Lin Yi didn't have any connections, so it was impossible for him to borrow a Mercedes Benz. Even so, money could make the world go round, and he still had 10 million in cash on his card. Getting a Mercedes Benz wasn't a difficult task. Ji Yu Jingshu, we're all good looking people that honest. I was just being polite. I'm in a hurry, so I'll have to trouble you to send me off. Ji Yu Jingshu quickly said, Sure, I'll leave the decision to you. Lin Yi said, Okay, okay, give me a minute, little bro. I'll go change. Ji Yu Jingshu replied, Okay. Ten minutes later, Ji Yu Jingshu changed into her new clothes. Her light blue skirt accentuated the full peaks in front of her, and her black high heels made her look different. I'm done changing, let's go now. Okay, at this time, the hotel entrance was already noisy. Yun Jia, you should go. Lin Yi will be out soon. I don't want him to misunderstand, Lu Cici said. What are you talking about? Aren't you with me now? The moment Lin Yi turned around, I realized that I still love him. So now, I have nothing to do with you. UB asterisk TCH, do you really think that Lin Yi will fall for you? F asterisk CK, you're dreaming. After cursing, Yun Jia drove away with his friends. He left Lu Cici and her other two best friends behind. Cici, you just such mean things about Lin Yi. Will he really come back? Lu Cici's best friend asked. He will. Although I did something wrong, we were in a relationship. As long as I sincerely apologize to him, he will definitely forgive me. You have a point. Let's not talk about this for now. I think he will be out in a while. Let's not just sit idly. Let's clean his car first. After all I still have to sit in it later, said Lu Cici. I really envy you. I'm afraid I won't have a chance to sit in Pagani in my life. Don't feel sorry for yourself. After our relationship has eased up, I think he will give this car to me to drive. When that time comes, I will take you for a ride. Thank you in advance then. All right, there's tissue in your bags. Start wiping now. Lin Yi and Ji Yu Jingshu walked out of the hotel just as Lu Cici and the others were having a good time. What are you doing? Chapter 5. How do you know that I'm not as good as you? Dear, we saw that your car was dirty, so we wanted to help you clean it. As she spoke, Lu Cici saw Ji Yu Jingshu and asked with a smile. She should be your secretary, right? In the future, I can help you with your work and daily life. You don't need her anymore. Which eye did you use to view her as my secretary? Did you use your belly button to look at her? Then what's your relationship with her? You guys aren't a couple, right? Why not? Lin Yi asked. Her front is curvier and her back is more upright than yours. Do you think I'd still fall for you? Ji Yu Jingshu was nervous for a while. She didn't even dare to believe it. They'd only known each other for less than half an hour, and she'd been promoted so quickly. Happiness came so suddenly that it was hard to believe. He was a gentle-looking man. He wasn't a scumbag who played with relationships, was he? Lin Yi, don't tell me you don't love me anymore. Have you forgotten about our romantic relationship? Even if she has a better body than me, her skills are definitely not as good as mine. You, how do you know that my skills are not as good as yours? Ji Yu Jingshu retorted unhappily. Losing was not always the same. Even if she had never experienced something like that before, she could not ignore it right now. Lin Yi sighed. Being handsome and rich, it seemed that everyone wanted to involve themselves with him. If there's nothing else, please make way for me. I'm leaving, Lin Yi said lightly. Lu Cici and the others gave up their seats, stunned. Pagani's glowing door opened, and Lin Yi and Ji Yu Jingshu got into the car before driving off. Ji Yu Jingshu's eyes widened when she saw Pagani's interior. Supercars were different, 
Although, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi were considered good cars, they weren't on the same level as Pagani. Mr. Lin, I hope you don't misunderstand. What I said just now was just to anger her. I'm not a promiscuous person, Ji Yu Jingxu explained. I'm just a driver now. Your situation isn't important to me. Ji Yu Jingxu was a little disappointed, but she found it normal after thinking about it. She had only known him for a short while and wasn't familiar with him yet. There was no way he would have other thoughts about her. I apologize for what happened just now. I shouldn't have threatened to complain about you guys. It's okay. We're responsible for this. Lin Yi replied as he drove. Where are you going? Jinxiu Hotel. My classmate's having a wedding there. Okay, I know where it is. Lin Yi nodded. No wonder she insisted on getting a Mercedes Benz. It was to save face for the wedding. Dot dot. There was an arched door made of balloons in front of the hotel, which made the place appear colorful and beautiful. What's going on with Jingxu? It's almost midnight, and the wedding is about to start. Why isn't she here yet? A woman with dyed yellow hair asked. Jingxu is different now. She has a rich boyfriend, and time is precious. She doesn't have as much free time as us, a short-haired girl replied. A few days ago, she said that her boyfriend bought her a Mercedes-Benz, so she is a true rags-to-riches story. Don't listen to her bragging. A few days ago, I saw her squeezing on the bus. Where did the rich boyfriend come from? It's just to show off. That can't be, the short-haired girl said, we are all classmates and not outsiders. Won't she be bragging a little too much? Our boyfriends are all young masters. She is an envious and jealous person. That's why she said that. She is deliberately trying to anger us. If you say that, I will really believe it. Oh my god, look. It's a supercar, it's a Pagani Zonda. Hearing the shouts of the other guests, the women looked up. To their surprise, they saw a silver supercar slowly driving toward them. Are they here for the wedding? The blonde girl asked. Impossible. Ying Ying is our classmate. She and her husband are from an ordinary families. How could they know a friend who drives a supercar? They must be passing by here. But this car is so attractive. It must be worth over 10 million. That's definitely possible. Under everyone's gaze, Lin Yi parked the car at the entrance of the hotel. The gullwing door opened and Ji Yu Jingxu walked out while clutching her handbag. She stared at everyone. Jing, Jingxu, you actually came here in a supercar. He, he happened to be free today, so he sent me here. Ji Yu Jingxu pretended to be nervous and prayed that Lin Yi wouldn't expose her. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to keep this act up. Jingxu, you're the best. How did you manage to get such a rich boyfriend? Tell me the truth, what did you do to get him? The women believed her. Jingxu wasn't bragging as she seemed to have really gotten get a rich second generation boyfriend. Jingxu bent down and looked at Lin Yi, who was sitting in the car. Thank you, drive safe. Okay, Lin Yi nodded and drove away. He used her as a shield before, and now they were even. Ring, ring, ring. Not long after he drove away, Lin Yi's phone rang. It was the landlady. Lin Yi's landlady was a middle-aged woman named Wu Jinlan. She was in her 40s, and her job was to play mahjong and collect rent from the three houses she owned. Every time Lin Yi saw her phone call, he felt a shiver run down his spine. This was because every time she called, it meant that she was chasing his rent. However, this time, Lin Yi wasn't afraid anymore. He wasn't afraid at all. It was just the rent. He could afford it. Lin Yi, you're 18 days behind on the rent. When are you going to pay this month's rent? Wu Jinlan's voice was heard as soon as the call connected. Don't worry, I'll send you the money now. Come back quickly, I have something to do later. He could transfer the rent through WeChat, but Lin Yi didn't plan to stay there anyway. He didn't have a house yet, but the Peninsula Hotel was his. He could move into the hotel, so why bother suffering in a rented room? Thus, he would just go back to pack his things. Lin Yi's neighborhood was an old neighborhood that was nearly 30 years old. Apart from the cheap rent, there were almost no other advantages to living there. Dot dot, Hepping District, Building 4, Unit 3, Room 602. Wu Jinlan and her daughter were eating lunch while reading the popular grave robbery notes. Mom, it's just 10 days of rent. Don't rush Lin Yi. The person who spoke was Jinlan's daughter, Zhang Jingjing. After graduating from university, she had been studying at home, preparing to take the civil service exam. Zhang Jingjing was not bad looking. She was not the same type of girl as Ji Qingyun, who was dignified and magnanimous. She looked more like a little girl next door. How could I not rush him? 
If he runs away one day, won't we lose the rent that is owed? No, Lin Yi isn't that kind of person, Zhang Jingjing replied. How do you know he's not that kind of person? Jin Lan asked. I'm telling you, you'd better not have any thoughts about pursuing him. It's impossible for something to happen between the two of you. I won't let the two of you get together. Wu Jin Lan snapped. Lin Yi's house was too shabby for Lu Cici, so she rarely came by. That was why Jin Lan and her daughter didn't know that Lin Yi had a girlfriend. They always thought that he was single. Why not? Lin Yi is not only handsome, but he's also good at his job. I think he's pretty impressive. What's the use of being attractive? He's not a meal that you can eat. Wu Jin Lan said, you're going to be a civil servant in the future. When you break into the public sector, with your looks, the guy who will be chasing after you will definitely be better than Lin Yi. Why bother settling for an employee like him? Chapter 6. Sha Li isn't driving anymore. I'll take this one. Zhang Jingjing didn't say anything in response. Her mother had a point. A house in Zhanghai was so expensive that it could easily cost tens of millions. With Lin Yi's salary, it would be difficult to ever buy a house in Zhanghai. Moreover, his shabby sherry was indeed a little cheap. These were all real problems, and she had to face reality. Knock, knock, knock. Jing Jing put down her chopsticks and went to open the door. Lin bro, you're here. Lin Yi nodded. Where's your mom? I'm here to deliver the rent. Jin Lan followed from behind. It's just rent. You just need to transfer the money. There's no need to ask for leave to pass it to me. She didn't think much of Lin Yi in private, but after meeting him, Jin Lan found him polite and collected. I didn't ask for leave. The company let me go, so I'll be a free man from now on, Lin Yi said. Jin Lan's heart skipped a beat. Lin Yi was fired from the company. If he continued to stay here, how was he going to pay the rent in the future? With a beep, Jin Lan's WeChat suddenly rang. She saw that Lin Yi had transferred 4,000 yuan to her. The rent is 2,000 yuan. Why did you transfer 4,000 yuan to me? I owe you 18 days worth of rent. I'll pay for two months in advance. However, I won't be staying here anymore. Lin Yi said, you won't be staying here anymore. Jin Lan asked. When Wu Jin Lan heard this, not only was she not reluctant to part with him, she was even a little happy. This way, she would be able to find a richer tenant who would pay the rent on time. Yeah, I'm not going to be staying here anymore, I just came back to pack my things. I'm leaving now, Lin Yi said, I'm sorry, I overcharged you by almost a thousand dollars. Wu Jin Lan said, Lin Yi didn't want to hit the smiling face. After all, he was so generous, and Jin Lan was also being a lot more polite right now. They had known each other for so long, and they still had a little bit of affection toward each other. It's fine, I'm sorry for always being late with your rent. Lin Yi said, Jing Jing, don't be idle. Help your brother Lin with his work. Wu Jin Lan quickly snapped. Although she despised Lin Yi for being poor, she still thought highly of his character. He didn't even live here anymore, yet he gave her an extra thousand dollars. Thus, she had to do some superficial work and could not be too cold toward him. All right, I'll go change. Lin Yi said, Lin Yi did not have anything to pack. The most precious thing was the quilt he had brought out from the orphanage. It was not anything valuable, but it meant a lot to him. He could buy a new version of everything else, but he had to take the quilt with him. Lin Yi carried the two sets of quilt in his arms as Wu Jinlan and Zhang Jingjing helped him bring the other little things downstairs for him. It was a good thing that the deal didn't work out. Money aside, Wu Jinlan still had a bit of humanity left in her. Lin Yi, you got fired from the company. What are you planning to do in the future? Jin Lan asked as she walked downstairs. I'm driving for Didi, that way, I shouldn't starve to death. Jin Lan and her mother looked at each other, instantly understanding each other's thoughts. Her mother's words made sense. One had to be realistic in a relationship. If one didn't have a stable income, how could one live in the future? Mom, look, there's a supercar parked downstairs. Zhang Jingjing yelled when she saw the silver sports car parked downstairs. Unfortunately, she was car blind. She didn't know anything other than Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi. Still, judging from the shape of the car, she knew that it was a sports car. It definitely wasn't cheap. That's weird. Who can afford to drive a sports car here in this old neighborhood? Wu Jinlan muttered. Obviously, she knew that this car wasn't cheap. Lin Yi, where's your car? I don't see it anywhere. Jinlan looked around for a while, but she didn't see Lin Yi's shabby sherry. I'm not driving the sherry anymore. I've swapped to this car. 
Lin Yi pressed the car key, and the Pagani's gullwing door opened, giving Jinlan and Jingjing a fright. W what did you say? This is your car? Jingjing asked, her mouth agape. Huh, I just changed it today, Lin Yi said. This car isn't cheap, is it? It's not bad, it cost more than 20 million. Lin Yi put everything in the passenger seat as he spoke, clearly relaxed. L Lin Yi, when did you get so rich? Aren't you just a salaried worker? Working was just to experience life, Lin Yi joked, now, I'm going to pretending, I'm actually a rich second generation. After this, Lin Yi got into the driver's seat and left. Seeing Lin Yi's disappearing taillights, Zhang Jingjing was in a bad mood. Mom, isn't Lin Yi an orphan? He said his parents died a long time ago. How did he become a rich second generation? Maybe he robbed his parents' graves. You said Lin Yi was poor and didn't want us to be together. Now that he's rich, can we? Don't think about those useless things. Wu Jinlan replied, he wasn't good enough for you in the past, but you're not good enough for him now. It has nothing to do with you anymore. Go home and study. Dot dot. Half an hour. Later, Lin Yi drove to the Peninsula Hotel and met Wang Tianlong in the lobby. President Lin, the presidential suite has been prepared. On the way back, Lin Yi had already told Tianlong about the matter. He was going to stay in the hotel for a few days, and he would buy a house when he had time. Lin Yi nodded, help me carry the things in the car and bring some food over. I've been working all day, I'm starving. Got it, boss Lin. I'll make the arrangements right away. Tianlong was very efficient, and everything was arranged for in less than half an hour. After dinner, Lin Yi took a bath and enjoyed the pleasures of being rich. Ring, ring, ring. The phone on the side rang. It was Wang Ying, his ex-colleague. Wang Ying was four years older than Lin Yi. She was a beautiful young lady. She took good care of Lin Yi at work, but no one knew if she had other motives. Sis Wang, did you want to speak to me? Lin Yi asked politely. Yi, your colleagues are reluctant to part with you after you left. They want to have dinner together as a way to send you off. Thank you, Sis Wang. You can book the place. It's my treat, Lin Yi said generously. I said I'm sending you off. How can I let you spend your money? Wang Ying answered, I'll see you at the usual place at 5.30 p.m. The so-called, usual place, was not the name of the restaurant, but rather, a restaurant called Yi Pinju. It was where all the department dinners were held, and they always referred it as, the usual place. Okay, I got it. I'll definitely be there on time. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you there. After hanging up, Lin Yi looked at his watch. He still had two more hours to enjoy himself. At that moment, a WeChat message popped up on Lin Yi's phone. It was from Ji Qingyan. We're almost done. Can you pick me up? I'm still staying at the construction bureau. Of course, Lin Yi replied. I'll be there in 30 minutes. The system reward was given to him by running orders. Now that he had a job, he had to accept it. Time to work. Awesome. Chapter 7. 10S squats, no problem. Lin Yi got dressed and walked out of his room before driving to the building. When he arrived, Ji Qingyun was already waiting at the door. Sorry for the wait, there was a bit of a traffic jam. It's fine, I just got out too. After getting into the car, Ji Qingyun combed through her hair, and a faint fragrance wafted over. President Ji, do you want to place an order first? Huh, what order? Ji Qingyun still hadn't gotten used to it yet. Lin Yi took out his phone. An order on Didi. I have to support my family with this. If you don't place an order, I won't be able to earn any money. I'll have to live on air in the future. I really can't help you. Ji Qingyun said with a smile. It seemed he was really serious about Didi. However, Ji Qingyun was also relieved. Despite owning a luxury car worth tens of million, he had still humbled himself to become a salesperson in her company. Now that he had been fired, it was understandable for him to come out to experience life on Didi. Soon, Lin Yi received Ji Qingyun's ride request on his phone, which he accepted immediately. At that moment, the system notification sounded. You have received the second order successfully. You have triggered the system mission to pick up two beauties with 85 points and above. The reward is 10,000 experience points. Mission completion. One half. Lin Yi could not help but frown when he saw the mission in his mind. This mission was a little metaphysical. What kind of beauty could be above 85 points? What if there was a difference between his aesthetic standards and the systems? Even so, looking at the mission notification, there was no doubt that Ji Qingyun was a beauty worth more than 85 points. 
Since the mission was already half completed, he decided not to worry about it for now. He should just finish this order first. President Ji, aren't you going back to the company? Lin Yi asked when he saw the address on the order. It was not Chaoyang Group. I'm about to get off work, so I'm not going back. I have a computer at home, so I can still work from there. All right, I'll send you back now. Oh right, I've been wanting to ask you this for a long time. Why were you fired? Ji Qingyun asked on the way back. I had some problems at work, so I got fired. He had the system now, and his life had taken a different path. Lin Yi didn't want to dwell on the trivial matters of the past anymore. It would be as if he was speaking ill of someone behind their back. He had to be magnanimous and not be petty. It can't be that bad, right? I saw your sales department's report a few days ago. You were the champion of sales last month. What could possibly have gone wrong? Ji Qingyun asked with a smile. President Ji, don't ask. It was my fault anyway. Lin Yi replied with a smile. Ji Qingyun rolled her eyes, thinking that there might be something else going on. She would have to investigate the matter later. Ring, ring, ring. At that moment, Ji Qingyun's phone rang. Did you ask all of them? I'll think of something, but keep trying to contact your side. See if you can contact other hotels. Okay, that's all for now. Soon, Ji Qingyun hung up the phone. Lin Yi noticed that her expression didn't look so good, so he asked. What happened? The company wants to hold a press conference soon, but they've contacted all the five-star hotels in the city, and none of them have time or space for us. They're all full, and I'm worried about how to deal with this. Can't you just push it back a little? This press conference is very important. We can't drag it out for too long, or else I wouldn't be in such a hurry. We can go to the Peninsula Hotel. It should be appropriate, Lin Yi suggested. Don't joke around. The Peninsula Hotel is a super five-star hotel in Zhanghai. I'm not afraid of spending money, but I can't get a reservation at all, Ji Qingyun shook her head. Lin Yi found this issue easily resolvable. Her company was considered a small fish in the industry. It could not be compared to those big companies. With the size and level of the Peninsula Hotel, they would not even spare her company a glance. Even if she went there as the CEO, it would be useless. That's not necessarily true. Life is full of surprises. You might be surprised if you go there. You sure know how to talk. I'll listen to you for once. Let's turn around and go to the Peninsula Hotel. Ji Qingyun said with a smile. But I'll be honest with you. If we can't come to an agreement, I won't pay for the trip fare. It's on you. What if we can come to an agreement? Lin Yi asked with a smile. If we can come to an agreement, I'll treat you to a meal. Eating is so boring. Do I look like someone who needs that meal? You're quite greedy. Ji Qingyun smiled. If we can really talk it out, I'll cook a meal for you myself. No way, you can cook. No, then is your food edible? Ji Qingyun rolled her eyes at Lin Yi. That's not the point. Since we won't be able to negotiate it, I can promise anything I want. I know I won't have to cook anyway. Then let's wait and see. Maybe a miracle will happen. If a miracle really does happen, forget one meal, even ten meals wouldn't be a problem. You've never cooked before, and I don't even want to eat a meal. I might as well ask you to do an S squat. S squat, you don't even know what that is. That's the standard skill of a female. Streamer, wait a minute, I'll check it out. Ji Qingyun opened Baidu and searched. This action is a little. Lin Yi smiled. If you don't agree, the miracle might not happen. Qingyun covered her mouth as she smiled. No problem, I'll say the same thing. Don't worry about one, even ten won't be a problem. Qing Yan was full of confidence. She had called before and told them her identity, but their manager still did not buy it. She also told them that their schedule was booked for the next half of the month, so there was no time or space for her. Therefore, this time, she was confident she would come back empty-handed. She had nothing to do anyway. Since someone had offered to drive her for free, she thought of it as a way to relax. Thus, it didn't matter even if she offered to squat or something. Soon, Lin Yi drove to the Peninsula Hotel. Upon seeing Lin Yi's car, the greeters at the door were tempted to step forward, but they were stopped by Lin Yi's eyes. If she found out who he was, the game wouldn't be fun anymore. After parking the car, the two of them walked into the hotel. Hello, I'm looking for your manager, Wang Tianlong. The waitress at the front desk looked at Ji Qingyun and then at her boss. She replied politely, Hello, let's go to the reception room first. I'll inform manager Wang right away. Okay, thank you. Led by the attendant at the front desk, the two of them arrived at the meeting room. 
Soon, someone came over with coffee and tea. Such a warm attitude made Ji Qingyan speechless. She had come here once a long time ago, but she had never received such treatment. Very soon, Wang Tianlong strode over and said with great enthusiasm, Hello, President Ji, Chapter 8, Do I Have to Keep My Promise? Ji Qingyan stood up and shook hands with Tianlong when he walked in. Hello, Manager Wang, I'm Ji Qingyan from the Chaoyang Group. I spoke to you on the phone earlier. Hello, President Ji, please don't take offense at my lack of hospitality. Tianlong was very polite and didn't expose his relationship with Lin Yi. This was because he had just received Lin Yi's reminder to cooperate with Ji Qingyan's request. Thus, he had to be more enthusiastic. He could not block the boss from picking up girls. Tianlong's attitude made Ji Qingyan grumble in her heart. Tianlong was also very polite on the phone before, but he always maintained a sense of distance. The way he spoke and his tone were very official. However, this time it was different. He was very warm and even a little respectful. Hello, Manager Wang. I'm here to talk to you about the venue. Our company wants to hold a press conference. We want to see if there's any available slots for the Hall of the Peninsula Hotel. Ji Qingyan had already predicted the outcome. She figured she would definitely be rejected by Tianlong. As for the miracle that Lin Yi mentioned, such a thing was impossible. After all, she had already asked before. Even if she came here personally this time, there would not be any change. The size of Chaoyang group was obvious. She didn't have that much reputation to influence others. No problem. When do you want to use it? I'll arrange it right away, Tianlong said politely. Huh, Ji Qingyan was stunned. She could not believe Wang Tianlong's words. What did you say? You can free up your schedule now. Wang Tianlong nodded and said, Yes. We will make sure that it is free on the day you need it. Ji Qingyan was elated. Thank you, Manager Wang. I plan to hold the press conference in 10 days' time. No problem. I'll arrange it right away. Do you have any other requests, President Ji? As long as it's within our abilities, we'll try our best to meet them. No, no more. We'll get someone to do that. Set. We won't trouble Manager Wang with anything else. Up until now, Ji Qingyan still felt a little incredulous. Previously, they had made it clear that they did not have any open slots for half a month. Now that she was here, she could pick any time she wanted. What the hell was going on? She was just here to try her luck and didn't have any hope at all. However, a miracle had really happened. It was unbelievable. All right, I will inform the people below to clear the schedule and ensure no other reservations will be accepted. Thank you, Manager Wang. Ji Qingyan said, how much is the deposit for our hotel? I will have the finance department transfer it to you later. No need, no need. Wang Tianlong waved his hand and said, with President Ji's character, there is no need to pay the deposit. It is not necessary, and everything will be settled after the transaction. Ji Qingyan could not believe her ears. Did she have that much influence? It wasn't possible, right? Even so, she did not miss here. Are you sure you don't want the deposit? Of course not. It's our honor to serve President Ji. Manager Wang is too polite. It's our honor too. After exchanging a few simple words, Lin Yi and Ji Qingyan left the Peninsula Hotel. Wang Tianlong walked them out politely and watched them leave. Wang Tianlong felt that his performance wasn't too bad. There did not seem to be any mistakes. Manager Wang, the hall has been booked by Yunkai Group on the 7th of next month. If we break the contract unilaterally, we have to pay three times the penalty fee, the deputy manager said. Three times is nothing. We will pay ten times the penalty fee. Wang Tianlong said, if we delay the boss from picking up girls, we'll have to pack up and leave. Ellipsis. The two got into the car together after leaving the Peninsula Hotel. Ji Qingyan's excitement had not yet subsided at this point. Lin Yi, you're really a lucky star. You were right, there was really a turn for the better. I told you, try more and maybe a miracle will happen. Yeah, yeah, thank God I believed you. Otherwise, I really wouldn't have been able to handle this. Gee, I think we should put this matter aside for now. It seems like it's time for you to keep your promise, Lin Yi said. Ji Qingyan paused, her face turning red as well. Why are you still thinking about this? Ji Qingyan asked. Are you trying to cheat me, Ji? Lin Yi asked. How is that possible? I'm the CEO of Chaoyang Group, after all. How can I go back on my word? Ji Qingyan said. That'd be great. Let's keep our promise now, Lin Yi said with a smile. We're in the car. How am I supposed to keep my promise? We'll talk about it when we get home. No problem. 
Lin Yi stepped on the gas pedal as he spoke, and the Pagani let out a beast-like roar, leaving the other cars far behind. Ji Qingyun's face was dark. Was there a need to fight so hard just to watch her perform an S-squat? According to the address marked on the GPS, it would take less than 20 minutes to drive the car to Ji Qingyun's home. Ji Qingyun's home was in Yunshui Villa, in Zhanghai. Among all the villas in Zhanghai, the Yunshui Villa was not considered high-end and could only be ranked in the middle. With Ji Qingyun's social status, it was reasonable for her to live here. Seeing the silver Pagani slowly driving over, the security guards at the entrance of the villa district were stunned. Although the people who lived in the Yunshui Villa were all rich and powerful, most of the cars they drove were sports cars worth millions. This was the first time they had seen a property owner driving a Pagani. How FC King Luxurious! Open the door! As it was a private villa district, no one was allowed to enter without an access. Card, Siji Qingyun greeted the security guard at the entrance. Got it, Boss Ji. The security guard opened the door without a word and let her in. The security guard watched as Pagani drove into the villa area and trotted back to the concierge. Wang bro, don't sleep anymore. Boss Ji of villa number 8 has been taken down. It can't be that bad. Boss Ji is a famous cold and aloof female CEO. The people who sent flowers could form a line. Has she really been taken down? That's right, I think the person driving the car is very handsome, and he is driving a Pagani Zonda. It seems to be worth more than 28 million yuan. He is definitely a super rich second generation. It seems that CEO G is not that indifferent. It's just that the people who pursue her were not good enough for her. Sigh, beautiful women are indeed prepared for the rich. Even a woman like CEO G was taken down. Life feels so bleak, driving to villa number 8. Ji Qingyun unbuckled her seatbelt and prepared to get out of the car. President Ji, did you forget something? Ji Qingyun, who had just regained her composure, blushed again and stomped her feet angrily. Ah, I got it. 10 S squats. You're unbelievable. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Lin Yi held his phone and replied. Since we arrived, shouldn't you pay for the ride? Chapter 9. A man sits at home while his father-in-law comes up from the sky. Ji Qingyun's face was completely dark. It was only right and proper to pay for a taxi you rode it, but it should not be such a serious matter, right? Although it was quite embarrassing to do an S squat, that was probably the main point. This little bit of money isn't even enough for you to refuel, so why do you care so much about it? It adds up. I still have to earn money to buy a house in Zhanghai. Ji Qingyun laughed. You're already driving Pagani. Who would believe that you can't afford a house? As she spoke, Ji Qingyun paid for the trip. Lin Yi sighed to himself. I'm really a poor guy with only 60 million in cash. After getting out of the car, the two entered the house one after the other. The layout of the villa wasn't big. It was about 400 square meters in total, and the modern and simple style decorations were very sleek. Furthermore, there was the faint fragrance of jasmine. What would you like to drink? Coffee or tea? Tea, it'll quench my thirst. Lin Yi did not bother being overly formal. Soon, Ji Qingyun brewed a pot of tea and handed it to Lin Yi. The atmosphere in the room also fell into silence. It was a bit awkward. You want to watch it now? Ji Qingyun asked, embarrassed. Yes, I have something to do later, so it's best if I can hurry up. The farewell banquet his colleagues were holding for him was about to start. As the main character, he couldn't be late. Let's be clear, I've never done this before, so don't blame me if I don't do it well. Lin Yi said. Don't worry, I won't, Lin Yi answered with a smile. She walked to the coffee table and grabbed onto the chair as she recalled the movements in the video. Then, she completed the first S squat stiffly. Her back was straight, her waist was slim, while her legs were long. It wasn't very standard, but after watching Ji Qingyun's squats, Lin Yi felt that all the female anchors on the internet were weak. This was especially true for the feeling of it coming out, as it wasn't something an ordinary person compete with. Especially Ji Qingyun, who was wearing a body-hugging skirt and black silk. If she had not taken off her high heels, she would have gotten even more points. Lin Yi sighed as he drank his tea and watched Ji Qingyun do the S squats. This was life. W what are you doing? They heard someone talking halfway through. The second S squat. Both of them froze when they saw a middle-aged man in a black polo shirt standing at the door, looking at them in shock. Dad, why are you here? The middle-aged man's name was Ji Antai, Ji Qingyun's father. I, should I not be here? Lin Yi almost vomited blood. It was indeed a bad time for you to be here. 
You should be under the car, not here. Dad, don't misunderstand. He's my new yoga instructor. He's teaching me new yoga moves, Ji Qingyun explained. I want to know which yoga instructor teaches his students with his legs crossed. Ji Anti said, shouldn't he be teaching them directly? Lin Yi, that was a pretty good idea. He's a high-level yoga instructor. He's only in charge of verbal guidance and doesn't usually do it himself, Ji Qingyun said nervously. Stop lying, do you think I don't watch live broadcasts? Lin Yi, he watches live broadcasts. Does your wife know about this? Dad, listen to me. Stop talking. Go to the side. I have something to say to him, Anti said as he pointed at Lin Yi. Uncle Ji, what do you want to say? Anti's expression softened a lot in front of Lin Yi. This person was very likely to be his future son-in-law, so he had to be nice. Young man, what's your name? Lin Yi, what do you do for a living? It looked like Ji Anti was going to get to the bottom of this. Didi, Lin Yi answered honestly. What did you say? Didi, Ji Anti's eyes widened in disbelief. I'm really a Didi driver. Lin Yi said helplessly. What was wrong with this world? Would no one would believe the truth anymore? Stop fooling around. How can a Didi driver chase after my daughter? Anti said, unless you're driving a sports car. You're right, the sports car at the door is mine. You're really driving a sports car. Anti was surprised. When he came in, he saw a sports car parked at the door. He thought it was his daughter's new car, but it was actually her boyfriend's. Although my car is a little nicer, I really drive for Didi. That's right, Anti laughed. To be able to use a sports car to drive a Didi, you must be a rich kid who doesn't want to be ordinary. You're much better than those rich kids who only know how to eat, drink, and play. I don't need to worry about giving my daughter to you. Lin Yi was speechless. How did your daughter suddenly belong to your son-in-law just because she did an S squat? Was this not a forced sale? Ji Qingyun sat down again, her face red. It was really hard to explain now. Little Yi, my father's 80th birthday is in a few days. Since you two are together, there's no need to hide it. You two can go together and let the rest of the family see you. That won't be appropriate, Lin Yi resisted. After all, they did not have a special relationship. There's nothing bad about it. Since you two are together, you have the right to participate in such a big event. Ji Anti said, All right, I won't say anything else. You two continue with your matters. Don't let me affect your mood. Anti stood up and left, leaving Ji Qingyun embarrassed. Lin Yi, don't listen to my dad's nonsense, Ji Qingyun pretended to be calm. Lin Yi nodded and looked at the time on his phone. President Ji, I have something else to do, so I'll leave first. Leave, there are still eight more squats to do. After saying that, Ji Qingyun realized that something was wrong. Wouldn't it be better if she didn't finish this embarrassing task? Thanks for reminding me, Lin Yi said. I'll owe you the remaining eight. All right then, since she had already said it. There was no way she could go back on her word, so she had no choice but to acquiesce. After watching Lin Yi leave, Ji Qingyun returned to the villa and called her. Secretary, Secretary Guo, there's someone called Lin Yi in the sales department. Send me a copy of his information. After giving her instructions, Ji Qingyun hung up. She wanted to investigate Lin Yi's dismissal. After leaving Ji Qingyun's house, Lin Yi drove to Yi Pinju. It was not a big deal that he was a few minutes late because of Ji Anti's appearance. I'm really sorry, I was stuck in traffic and was late. When he arrived at the private room, he found that everyone in the sales department was already there. Thus, Lin Yi said embarrassedly. It's okay, we just got here too. The person who spoke was Wang Ying. She had been taking care of Lin Yi for a long time. She was about 30 years old and had long hair draped over her shoulders. She was wearing a green floral dress, looking very charming. Come, Yi, sit here. I've already reserved a seat for you. Wang Ying took down the clothes on the empty seat next to her and gestured for Lin Yi to sit next to her. Chapter 10 Who owns the Pagani downstairs? Thank you, Sister Ying. Lin Yi said with a smile. What's there to thank? Wang Ying said with a smile. You got fired out of nowhere. It won't be easy to see you again in the future. It's okay. Don't you have my contact number? Just call me if you need anything. I promise to pick up. Lin Yi became the topic of conversation in the room as soon as he arrived. However, most of the people around him were female colleagues. The rest of the male colleagues were sitting on the other side, looking at Lin Yi with fake smiles. Lin Yi, you're too unlucky. With your skill level, the sales director position would have been yours. Wang Ying said regretfully. 
She had a good relationship with Lin Yi. If Lin Yi could become the sales director, he could take care of her in the future. Unfortunately, now it would be difficult for her to see him again, let alone rely on him to take care of her. Sister Wang, you're wrong. Although Lin Yi's performance is good, Dong Bro isn't bad either. How did you know that the position of sales director would have been Lin Yi's? The person who spoke was called Huang Yuwei, a colleague of Lin Yi's. The person he called Dong Bro was called Li Zhongdong. Before Lin Yi came to the company, he had always been the sales champion in the sales department. However, after Lin Yi came, the position of the sales champion changed hands. Although he was angry, he couldn't do anything about Lin Yi. Furthermore, this time, Lin Yi was fired because of him. The position of sales director has a fixed target. Lin Yi's performance is better than his, so the position of director naturally belongs to him, Wang Ying said unhappily. Although there weren't many people in the sales department, they were divided into two factions. The male colleagues were all on Li Zhongdong's side, and Lin Yi and the other female colleagues were on the other side. They only maintained a harmonious relationship on the surface. What's the use of that? Hasn't he still been fired? Yu Wei said. Besides, I heard that the resignation papers will arrive soon. Dong Bro is going to be promoted to sales director soon. I suggest we toast to him. Ha ha, don't be like that. Zhang Dong said with a smile. Although I'm going to be the sales director soon, the main character today is Lin Yi. How could I steal the spotlight? It's okay, we'll toast him later. Huang Yuwei said with a smile. Then I'll accept your offer. As he said that, Zhang Dong and the others raised their glasses and downed the wine in one gulp. As for the other female colleagues, they didn't move at all. Why do I feel like you're not here to send me off? You're even showing off a little, Lin Yi said. Don't say that, I'm just having a drink. You're still the main character today. Zhang Dong looked at Lin Yi as he placed the cup down. You, on the other hand, do you have any new plans after being fired by the company? Zhanghai is a big city. It's not easy to survive here. Brother Dong is right. The city is too dangerous. It's better to go to the countryside. Yu Wei chimed in. What countryside? Don't you know about Lin Yi? He's an orphan. He doesn't even have a home. He can't go anywhere, Zhang Dong said with a smile before looking at Lin Yi. Lin Yi, if you want to stay in Zhanghai, I have a way out. I'm familiar with the property manager in our community. I can arrange a security job for you. Are you interested? Ha <laughs> ha. The other male colleagues were all laughing at Zhang Dong's joke. He had brought this upon himself. He'd only been in the company for half a year, and he wanted to compete with Dong Zhe for the sales director position. Look at himself. You don't have to worry about my work, Lin Yi said with a smile. Oh right, Yi, I was just about to ask you the same thing, Wang Ying said. Now that you've been fired from the company, do you have any plans for the future? Any update on your work? I'll drive for Didi from now on. I should be able to support my family. Drive for Didi. Wang Ying and the other female colleagues didn't seem to believe it. That's a bit of a leap for you. I can't help it. I'm doing it for a living. Lin Yi, you're really something. You can actually register that lousy sherry of yours. Huang Yuwei said, I bet all the passengers will give you a bad review when they see your stupid sherry. It might be a little difficult for you to support your family after that. It's fine, little Yi. We'll order our rides in the future to support you. Wang Ying said angrily. Dang 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 dang. Just as they were talking, there was a knock on the door of the private room. The hotel lobby manager walked in. Hello, I would like to ask, which guest owns the Pagani Zonda downstairs? What did you say? Pagani Zonda, everyone in the room was stunned. It was a supercar, and there were only a few of them in China. At the thought of this, a few male colleagues stood up and looked out of the window. There really is a Pagani park there. It's so damn handsome, as expected of the most developed place in Huasha. There are so many rich people in Zhanghai. Huang Yue sighed. This car seems to cost more than 20 million. Only those super rich people can afford such a car. All right, stop looking at it. You can't afford it no matter how much you look at it. As he spoke, Li Zhongdong looked at the lobby manager and said, We are just ordinary white collar workers. We definitely can't afford that kind of car. You can go to another room and ask. All right, sorry to disturb your meal. The lobby manager was about to leave when Lin Yi's voice sounded. What's wrong with the Pagani? The other cars are being blocked by it. I want to tell the owner to move the car. Lin Yi, why are you asking so many questions? They're talking about the Pagani, not your stupid Sherry. Huang Yue smiled. 
That Pagani is mine, so I'll ask as much as I want, okay. Everyone was shocked when they heard that. What? What did you say? That Pagani is yours. Why, is it so unbelievable? Lin Yi took out the car keys from his pocket and waved them in front of Huang Yue and the others, almost blinding them. It really was his car. Seeing that Lin Yi was so young, the lobby manager was very calm. People who bought this kind of car were usually the second generation of the rich, and they were all young. However, he was already so rich, yet he was still eating with these poor friends. He was too approachable. Lin, Lin, Yi, what's going on? Isn't your car a sherry? When did it become a Pagani? Who said you can only have one car? Can't I just buy another one? Everyone felt a little dizzy. That was a sports car worth more than $20 million, not a piece cabbage that cost $2 a piece. Didn't you say you wanted to drive for Didi? You're already so rich, so why are you still doing Didi? Zhang Dong asked. Don't you have anything else to do? Can't I experience life? Chapter 11. I'm the only one at home. Of of course you can. I just didn't think of it. Zhang Dong smiled awkwardly. There's a lot of things you didn't think of, but you'll learn of them later. Lin Yi ignored Zhang Dong and smiled at the lobby manager. I'm really sorry, I'll go downstairs and move the car now. Okay, okay, I'll have to trouble you. Lin Yi and the lobby manager went downstairs as the others looked at each other. Then, they got up quickly, wanting to go downstairs and see what was going on. They went downstairs and found a lot of people gathered in front of the car to take photos. Lin Yi walked over, and the crowd automatically dispersed. Their eyes were full of envy and jealousy. My god, he's so handsome and so rich. This is too unreasonable, he must have given God a present when he was reincarnated. Lin Yi didn't care about the comments from the people around him. He moved the car and stuck his head out of the window. You guys can continue eating. I have something to do. Since the main character has left, I won't be eating either. Wang Ying said, I'm leaving too. Sister Ying is going home. Yes, then I'll send you home. I have nothing to do. Thank you, Yi. The two had been very close when they were at the company. Now that Lin Yi was driving a supercar, she naturally wanted to see what it felt like. They got into Lin Yi's car and left under everyone's watchful eyes. Yi, I didn't know you were the second generation of a rich family. It's so hard to live an incognito life. Wang Ying took photos as she spoke. It was her first time riding a supercar, so she had to take a few photos as a memento. Money is just a worldly possession. Experiencing life is the most important thing. I remember now. Aren't you an orphan? Where did you get so much money? Ah, uh, inheritance. I see. Wang Ying nodded. But you just said that you drive for Didi now. Is that true? Wang Ying couldn't believe it. Of course it's true. Lin Yi took out his phone. My registration information is all there. Sister Ying, do you want to place an order to support me? With their relationship, Lin Yi would never accept Wang Ying's money. However, the system's mission was for him to pick up two beauties with 85 points or more. Although Wang Ying was a little old, her charm didn't decrease. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been named the number one beauty of Chaoyang group. If Wang Ying placed the order, it would not be difficult for him to complete the mission. Since you've already said that, so if I don't place the order, I'll be taking advantage of you. Wang Ying said as she held her phone. Don't worry, sis is placing the order now. Watch out, lest someone else takes it away. No problem, I'm watching. Soon, a notification appeared on the phone. Wang Ying placed the order successfully, and Lin Yi accepted the order immediately. However, there was no notification at all. What was going on? Could it be that Wang Ying wasn't a beauty with an 85 or higher score? She was only 29, so it was better for her to get married earlier. Scan completed. The passenger's overall score is 84, not meeting the requirements of the mission. Lin Yi was speechless. Was the system not being a little too strict? Could it not give him an extra point? Where was he going to meet so many high-scoring beauties? Yi, why are you still in a daze? Wang Ying asked. Ying Jia, I want to ask you something. Lin Yi asked as he drove. What is it? What do you think you can do to increase a woman's charm? The system had already said that Wang Ying's overall score was only 84 points. It must have considered many aspects before giving her the score. That was why it was possible to increase one's charm through other means. However, Lin Yi didn't know if this little hack would succeed, so he could only give it a try. Increase a woman's charm? Wang Ying was a little puzzled. What kind of strange question was that? I'm just asking. 
If Sister Ying doesn't know, then forget it. The so-called increase in charm is to make yourself more attractive. This is a compulsory course for every woman, Wang Ying said. How do you improve it? Lin Yi was curious to see how confident Wang Ying was. Don't worry, Wang Ying said with a smile. She opened her bag and took out two pairs of unopened silk stockings. One pair was flesh-colored, and the other pair was black. Tell me, which one do you think is good-looking? Ahem, ahem, Sister Ying, I don't think it's appropriate to ask me such a question. What's there to be afraid of? There's only the two of us in the car. Wang Ying smiled and said, choose one. Ah, uh, the black ones are better. Okay, wait. As she said that, Wang Ying opened the black silk stockings and slowly put them on her legs. What made people unable to control themselves the most was that during the process of putting them on, Wang Ying unintentionally lifted her skirt, revealing her black leggings. This really made people's thoughts wander. How is it? Doesn't it feel different? It really does feel different. After putting on the black silk stockings, it almost appeared like her legs had grown quite a bit, and she became even more attractive. System, scan again and see what Wang Ying's overall score is. A second later, the system's real voice sounded. Scan completed. The passenger's overall score is 85, meeting the requirements of the mission. Ding, mission completed. Reward, 100,000 experience points, job completion rate, 15%. Reward. One villa in Jojo Pavilion. Get it from the sales manager. F asterisk CK. The name Jojo Pavilion was well known in Zhanghai City. Ever since it was being built, it was considered to be a top tier mansion. When it was completed, it became the number one mansion in Zhanghai City just as expected. Even the richest people on the list would be intimidated by Jojo Pavilion. It wasn't that they couldn't afford it, but in their eyes, it wasn't worth it to spend hundreds of millions on such an expensive house. To put it bluntly, they were not rich enough. Lin Yi could not help but feel excited. He wanted to buy a house, but the system's reward came right after. He had to finish this order quickly and check it out later. Wang Ying's heart skipped a beat when she heard Lin Yi swear. Did he have such a big reaction when he saw her wearing black silk? This thing really had a fatal attraction. Little Yi, focus on driving. We'll talk when we get home, Wang Ying reminded shyly. No problem, Lin Yi smiled. Thank you for your support, Sister Ying. Remember to give a 5-star review. That depends on your service. Wang Ying said with a smile. She was a beautiful young woman. At first, Wang Ying had bad thoughts about Lin Yi, but now, her bad thoughts were even stronger. Soon, Lin Yi sent Wang Ying home according to the address on his phone and completed his third order. Do you want to go up and sit for a while? No thanks, I'm sorry to bother you, Lin Yi said politely. What do? You mean bother? My husband is on a business trip and I'm the only one at home, Wang Ying pretended to be calm. Chapter 12. Private Property. I can't do it today, Lin Yi said. I have to go on a business trip. I'll drop by on another day. My husband will be back from his business trip in a few days. You won't dare to come then. It's fine, I'll visit the next time he's on a business trip. Damn it, Lin Yi drove off after saying goodbye. He looked at the time and realized that it was already past 7. However, Lin Yi had been in sales before, so he knew the rules. The sales center had a shift system. During the day, everyone was on standby, and at night, a small portion of the sales team would be left behind until 8 o'clock at night. If he drove fast, he would still make it in time. After about 30 minutes, Lin Yi arrived at the Jojo Pavilion area. Like its namesake, there were a total of nine villas in the Jojo Pavilion TL note. Jojo translates to nine region pavilion in Chinese. Each of them faced the river and looked at the sea, appearing magnificent and magnificent. However, depending on the size, style, and location, the prices of each unit were different. Even so, the difference in price wasn't big, so any one of them could be regarded as the king of buildings in Zhanghai. Sitting in the car and looking at the view of the Jojo Pavilion, Lin Yi was very satisfied. He would have a place here in the future. Despite this, he didn't know which building the system had give him. After enjoying the scenery outside, Lin Yi parked the car and pushed the door open before walking into the sales hall. Seeing a guest enter, the saleswoman glanced at Lin Yi and her expression changed. What are you doing here? Lin Yi was a little surprised to see the person who spoke. The saleswoman's name was Meng Yu. She was Lin Yi's former colleague. Back in the company, she had pursued Lin Yi crazily. After being rejected sternly, she became the laughingstock of the company and left in anger. 
I want to look for your manager. Lin Yi said with a smile. This world was too small for him to actually meet her here. Hee hee, our manager has to meet a big client in a while. He doesn't have time to deal with you. Meng Yu said, but you, what are you doing here? Did you get fired and come here to apply for a job? I got fired today and you already know about it. Lin Yi was a little puzzled. Why would she say that so quickly? You really got fired. Meng Yu was just gloating a bit, but she actually hit the nail on the head. Yeah, Lin Yi nodded with a smile. Just help me get your manager please. We'll talk about it when I have time. Meng Yu said indifferently. And let me remind you, don't expect me to put in a good word for you. When you think about our job application, it's all about strength. Don't think that just because you're handsome, you have an advantage. Lin Yi rubbed his chin. He had just rejected her, so was there a need for all this drama? Let me explain first. Although I've been fired, I'm not here to apply for a job. Then what are you here for? Meng Yu crossed her arms in front of her chest, her expression arrogant. Don't tell me you're here to buy a house. Meng Yu said. Lin Yi nodded. I'm really here to buy a house. That's why I'm looking for your manager. Lin Yi, stop messing around. We've been colleagues for a few months. Do you think I don't know your situation? Meng Yu said disdainfully. You live in an old neighborhood, and you own a shabby sherry. Yet, you say you want to buy a house in the Jojo Pavilion. Can you stop fooling around? Any one of them is worth more than 800 million. What can you afford? You can't even afford a toilet if I were to try to sell it to you. Meng Yu said, forget it if you don't believe me. I'll talk to your manager later. Lin Yi sighed, ha ha, do you think our manager works for free? How would he have time to receive you? Meng Yu rolled her eyes. Who do you think you are? At that moment, the sound of high heels could be heard. A woman in a gray work dress was walking toward Lin Yi. Manager Wang, Meng Yu said politely when she saw the woman in the uniform. Go away, I'll deal with you later. Meng Yu was stunned after being scolded for no reason. She didn't do anything, so why was she being scolded? After scolding Meng Yu, the female manager changed her expression and smiled at Lin Yi. You must be Mr. Lin Yi. Let me introduce myself. I'm Wang Wei, the sales manager of Jojo Pavilion. I went to the washroom and couldn't come out to greet you personally. I hope you don't mind. It's okay, you don't have to be so formal. Should I show you the rooms first? Or should I give you an introduction to the situation here? First, Meng Yu interrupted before Lin Yi could finish. Manager Wang, you don't have to waste your time on him. He's my former colleague, and he was fired today. He's an orphan, and he can't afford a villa in Jojo Pavilion. It's a waste of time to show him around a house. Meng Yu said, what nonsense are you spouting? Wang Wei glared at Lin Yi. Go report to the personnel department. You are to stop working here. Meng Yu was even more confused. She didn't do anything, and she only said a few words of truth out of kindness. Why did she suddenly get fired? Wang, Manager Wang, I'm not talking nonsense. I really know him. I know his situation. Know my asterisk SS. Wang Wei couldn't help but swear. Mr. Lin bought all the villas in the Jojo Pavilion in one go. You say he's your colleague. Do you think you're worthy of holding that title? Bought all the villas. Meng Yu stared at Lin Yi as if he was an alien. She hadn't even left her job for a month, so how did he become rich? Even if he won the first prize in the lottery, he wouldn't be that rich, right? Lin Yi was a little stunned as well. It turns out it wasn't just one villa, but nine whole villas. In other words, he would be the owner of Jojo Pavilion from now on, and this place would become his private territory. Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry. I didn't manage my staff properly and gave you a bad experience in buying a house. It's my fault. It's okay, Lin Yi said generously. Now that Jojo Pavilion is my property, I should wrap up the registration procedures. Can you give me the keys? It's all ready. Please wait a moment. Wang Wei jogged away as she spoke. When she returned, she had nine documents in her hands. Mr. Lin, these are all the property rights and the keys to the nine villas. Please keep them well. The nine documents in her hands carried a lot of weight. It turned out that having too many houses was also a problem. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first, Lin Yi said politely. Congratulation, Mr. Lin. Don't worry, you guys are pretty busy too, so you can go back to your own matters. Lin Yi said. Wang Wei walked out anyway, and Meng Yu followed behind. Meng Yu was in a bad mood when she saw Lin Yi put all nine documents into his Pagani sports car. This was a super car. 
Why did she try to scold a super rich man? Lin Yi drove back to the Peninsula Hotel and prepared to stay there for the night. He was going to pack up his things and move into the Jojo Pavilion the next day. Just then, Lin Yi's phone rang. It was Wang Ying. Little Yi, did you know? I heard through the grapevine that the old witch and Li Zhongdong were fired. Chapter 13 How dare you threaten me? Lin Yi was surprised by Wang Ying's words. Why were they fired? Was this not a little too sudden? Are you sure? I'm sure. I have a friend in the personnel department. She told me the news. This kind of news usually doesn't come out of nowhere. The two of them might really have been fired, Lin Yi said. Lin Yi, this is too strange. Wang Ying said, you just got fired. Both Li Zhongdong and the old witch who used to bully you were fired at the same time. Could this have something to do with you? How is that possible? Lin Yi didn't know whether to laugh or cry. I don't have that kind of connections. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been fired. You're right. After a short conversation, Lin Yi hung up and sent a WeChat message to Ji Qingyan. Lin Yi, you fired Yu Lili and Li Zhongdong. Ji Qingyan, you knew about it. I looked into it and found some problems with them, so I fired them. I'll take it as venting your anger for you. Lin Yi smiled when he got an affirmative reply. Ji Qingyan was pretty fast. Is there anyone suitable for the position of sales director? Lin Yi asked. Not at the moment. I can leave it with you if you come back. Not interested. I think Wang Ying from the sales department is pretty good. You can take a look at her. No problem. My car hasn't been fixed yet. Come pick me up tomorrow. Lin Yi, Didi driver, at your service. He could pick her up, but she had to pay for it. After this, Lin Yi took a comfortable bath and slept until dawn. He drove to Yunshui Villa, and when the security guard saw Lin Yi's Pagani at the door, he opened the door without saying a word. Who would dare to stop a man who could conquer President Ji? You're here so early, Ji Qingyan, who was washing up in the bathroom, said in surprise. I used to work at 6 in the morning. It's a habit, give me a moment, I'll be done soon. It's okay, there's no rush. Ji Qingyan's movements were very fast. In about 30 minutes, she finished washing up and putting on her makeup. Lin Yi, help me take a look. What do you think of that dress? Ji Qingyan stood on the second floor, holding a one-piece dress in her left hand and a floral dress in her right. I think I'll go with that one. It looks pretty good. Sure, I'll wear this today. A few minutes later, Ji Qingyan walked down the stairs. Only a tall woman like Ji Qingyan could wear a dress like this. Although it was a very ladylike dress, she gave off a regal vibe when wearing it. This was interesting. After putting on the high heels, the two got into the car together and Lin Yi took out his phone. Boss Ji, please place the order. Don't worry, I won't forget about it. Ji Qingyan rolled her eyes at Lin Yi and thought to herself, you really don't know how to flirt. Soon, Lin Yi's phone received the order from Qingyan, and he grabbed it immediately. System Mission, 5-5 five five Star Rating, Reward 200,000 Experience Points 3 fifths. Looking at the numbers in parentheses, Lin Yi guessed that this should be his current mission completion rate. That was because he had completed three orders since yesterday. Two of them were from Ji Qingyan, and the other one was from Wang Ying. They were all from the same team, and they all gave five-star reviews. The fourth one would be from Ji Qingyan, and the next five-star review was all but guaranteed. Victory was beckoning to him. Stepping on the accelerator, Lin Yi drove the car to the company's underground garage along with Ji Qingyan. President Ji, don't forget to give me a five-star review. It'll depend on my mood. After unlocking the safety button, Ji Qingyan got out of the car and saw a white Sagittar parked not far away. President Ji, Lin Yi. The person who spoke was Wang Ying. She was riding in the car of another female colleague. She didn't expect to meet the president and Lin Yi together. As you know, I'm a Didi driver and coincidentally met President Ji who was calling for a taxi. Lin Yi explained. The two colleagues did not believe him. He had obviously taken the president away, and he even tried to explain it as him being a Didi driver. Who would believe that? Only then did Wang Ying realize that the reason why Yu Lili and Li Zhongdong were fired was because of Lin Yi. He and the president had been having an affair, and they were actually bullying him. It would be weird if they weren't fired. At that moment, the elevator door of the underground garage opened, and Yu Lili and Li Zhongdong walked out with a cardboard box in their hands. They were obviously here to pack their things. Seeing Lin Yi and the president here, their expressions were as awkward humanly possible be before they left dejectedly. It's almost time for work, let's go up together. 
Facing Wang Ying and the others, Ji Qingyan returned to her cold and aloof image, unlike when she was with Lin Yi. Got it, President. Wang Ying and another colleague greeted Lin Yi before heading upstairs with Ji Qingyan. Lin Yi sat in the car and was about to take a stroll around the mall. He already had a house, so he had to go buy some daily necessities. He'd been wearing these clothes for two days already, and it would start to rot if he wore them any longer. Lin Yi was about to drive away when he received a WeChat message from Ji Qingyan. Ji Qingyan, do you want a five-star review? Lin Yi, of course. Ji Qingyan, I still owe you 8s squats which I will trade you for a five-star review. Otherwise, I'll give you a bad review. Lin Yi, I don't want a five-star review. 8s squats, not a single one less. Lin Yi didn't care about the S squats, but a little woman like you was threatening him. That was not acceptable, Ji Qingyan, pervert. Not long after, a five-star review notification appeared on the app. It had to be from Ji Qingyan. Lin Yi smiled. You sure have a sharp tongue but a soft heart. He glanced at the system mission. It was already four-fifths complete, so Lin Yi decided to buy clothes later. He wanted to take on another order and complete the mission before going to the mall. It would not take long anyway. He opened the app, where the newest order would automatically be displayed. Thus, Lin Yi grabbed a random order. The pickup point was at the nearby Tianyi homestead. It wasn't too far, only a few minutes away. Dot dot, Tianyi homestead, building 4, unit 1, room 1302. The house was about 60 square meters, and it was a standard two-bedroom, one living room house fit for a family of three. Dad, why are you bringing me to your colleague's party? I don't want to go. The person who spoke was a young woman, about 25 or 26 years old. She had a good-looking oval face and long hair that fell over her shoulders. She was very attractive. The girl's name was Sha Shen Yu. She was an outdoor streamer and was somewhat famous on the platform. No, you have to come with us, Sha Hong Yuan, Sha Shen Yu's father, said. I know what you're thinking. You just want to introduce me to someone. Aren't we doing this for your own good? You're not young anymore. You don't even have a boyfriend. I'm worried sick about you. When I was young, didn't you always say that you wanted me to be by your side for the rest of my life? Sha Shen Yu said, why are you in such a hurry to marry me off now? I was just speaking freely at the time. Who would have expected you to be so obedient? Sha Shen Yu was speechless. Chapter 14. My car is a two-seater. Anyway, I've already told my colleagues that you would go with me. That young man is not bad. He works in a public institution and has some money. You two are suitable to be together, Sha Hong Yuan said. I already have a boyfriend. I don't need you to introduce me, Sha Shen Yu said. You have a boyfriend, Sha Hong Yuan asked in surprise. Where did you find a boyfriend? Where else could I get a boyfriend? I found one myself, Sha Shen Yu said. Do you think I dug him out from the ground? The old couple was abnormally excited when they found out that their daughter had a boyfriend. Then what are you waiting for? Ask the family to take a look. We'll check him out for you. Ah, you want our family to take a look? Sha Shen Yu was at a loss for words. She had just said it casually. Why did these guys take it so seriously? That's right. Since you have a boyfriend, we naturally have to see who he is. We can't just casually hand you over, right? Forget about meeting him. He's also quite busy with work. We'll talk about it another day. Sha Shen Yu stood up. I still have something to do in a while, so I'll be leaving first. Stop. Sha Hong Yuan said, I think you're trying to trick me. No, I really have a boyfriend. Don't even think about introducing me to someone else. I've raised you for more than 20 years. Don't you think I know what you're like? Sha Hong Yuan said, if you don't bring your boyfriend here today, you must obediently follow me to the party. You can choose your fate. All right, I'll make a call and ask him then. Back in the house, Sha Shen Yu was running around like a headless chicken. It had been so many years, and she did not have many friends of the opposite sex. Where could she find someone to pretend to be with her? Huh, suddenly, Sha Shen Yu's eyes lit up and she muttered to herself, how about finding a delivery boy to pretend to be with her? However, very quickly, Sha Shen Yu dismissed these thoughts. A delivery boy was definitely not allowed. If he did not dress appropriately, her parents would not believe her. It would be too easy for her to be exposed. A DD driver seems to be pretty good option, Sha Shen Yu thought. At the very least, he would have a car and would have some form of assets. The only thing left was to find a younger driver. It was perfect, because she usually took taxis, there were two taxi hailing apps on Sha Shen Yu's phone. 
One was Didi, and the other was Quadi. She would use the service that offered more discounts. However, the situation was different this time. Due to the size of Didi, she ended up choosing Didi. She picked a random destination and started placing orders. About five seconds later, the order was received and she hurriedly called the other party. Dot dot. Ring, ring, ring. Lin Yi's phone rang before he could get out of the car. Hello, are you the Didi driver? Lin Yi already knew who the person was. It was the passenger who placed the order. It's me, what do you want? Lin Yi said, I want to ask, how old are you? Huh, what kind of question was that? How old was he? Did that have anything to do with the passenger? Although he didn't know what he was up to, Lin Yi still told him his age. 24. Oh nice. Sha Xin Yu was a little excited. She actually met someone her own age. Soon, Sha Xin Yu calmed down and asked in a low voice. I want to ask you for a favor, can you do that? No, I'm just a DD driver. I don't provide extra services. Lin Yi had seen too much of this kind of news. There were some perverted customers who would always making things difficult for the DD driver or the guy outside. They would either ask him to buy cigarettes, take out the trash, or even buy sanitary pads. Lin Yi was not interested in that sort of thing. Don't misunderstand me. My name is Sha Xin Yu. I want you to pretend to be my boyfriend and deal with my parents. I'll give you a five-star review afterwards. What do you think? Uh, Lin Yi paused. This was a good idea. On account of the five-star review, it's a deal. Then it's a deal. What's your name? Lin Yi. Okay, my house is in Tianyi Homestead, Building 4, Unit 1, 1302. You can come straight here. Okay, because Tianyi Homestead was nearby, Lin Yi arrived at Sha Xin Yu's house after about 10 minutes. Knock, knock, knock. Sha Xin Yu heard someone knocking on the door and opened it. She prayed in her heart that this Didi brother was not too ugly, or else it would arouse suspicion. Creak. The door was pulled open and Sha Xin Yu froze on the spot when she saw Lin Yi. What, what kind of godlike beauty was this? Did she save the earth in her previous life? Yo, it's Xiao Yu's boyfriend, right? Seeing Lin Yi standing at the door, Sha Xin Yu's mother greeted with a smile. This young man was really good looking. He was more than enough for her daughter. Before Sha Xin Yu could say anything, Lin Yi was pulled in. Your name is Lin Yi, right? How long have you been with my daughter? Sha asked. Uh, more than half a year, Sha Xin Yu answered first. I didn't ask you, what are you talking about? After scolding Sha Xin Yu, mother Sha asked again. Young man, what do you usually do? I'm a driver, Lin Yi replied. A driver? The old couple's faces changed. This didn't seem like a decent job. Are you a pilot? Then you should call yourself a captain. Lin Yi didn't know whether to laugh or cry. The old couple's imagination was quite rich. I'm not flying a plane. I don't have that kind of skill. Lin Yi said. The old couple's expressions weren't as warm as they were before. Are you driving for a certain boss? Lin Yi asked. The two of them could accept it if it was for a certain boss. After all, this gig was quite attractive. However, this was their bottom line. You've misunderstood. I'm driving for Didi, I'm a Didi driver. Lin Yi said, Didi driver, why did Sha Hong Yuan's expression suddenly change? He now looked a little ugly. How much money could a Didi driver earn? If they were to be together in the future, how would they support their child? Would they be able to live off the wind? That's right, he's a Didi driver. Xin Yu said, Dad, Mom, he's actually making a lot of money now. Lin Yi bought all my cosmetics and jewelry for me, Xin Yu explained. Plus, he still has some money on him. We're planning to start a business in the future, so we won't work for Didi forever. Hearing that, their expression softened, but it was obvious that they weren't very happy. Let's talk about this later. Because Lin Yi was here, there were a lot of things that Sha Hong Yuan still could not talk about. He planned to talk about it when there was no one else around at night. Oh right, mom and dad, aren't you going to a gathering? You should leave now or you'll be late. Sha Hong Yuan looked at the time and said. All right, let him send us there. Don't leave either, just come with us. The two of them had not yet thought the matter surrounding Lin Yi through. Although his work was suboptimal, his looks were not bad. They had to weigh it properly before deciding which one to choose. I don't think it's possible for us to go together, Lin Yi said. Huh, why not? My car is a two-seater. It can't fit four people. Chapter 15. Didn't my car only have two seats? What did you say? Your car only has two seats. Forget Sha Hong Yuan and his wife, even Sha Xin Yu couldn't accept it. 
All cars have four seats, no. How could it only have two seats? Was Didi now in the motorcycle business? Before this, because of Lin Yi's looks, Sha Hongyuan decided to give him a chance. Even if he was working for Didi. Now, it turned out he was actually riding a motorcycle. Sha Hongyuan could not accept this. His own daughter could not be with such a person. If that's the case, then let's take a taxi. We don't need your car anymore. Okay, Lin Yi didn't care. Sha Xin Yu had already placed the order anyway. He would give her a 5-star rating later and it would be done. Sha Xin Yu wanted to kill herself. She really wanted to shoot herself in the foot right now. She would definitely be scolded when she got back at night. After leaving the house, Lin Yi walked to the front, and the three of them walked to the back, ready to take a taxi. You damn girl, did you grow eyes on the back of your head? You actually found a motorcyclist as your boyfriend. Sha Hong Yuan lectured. If we didn't call him to our house in advance, we would still be left in the dark. If others learned that I found a motorcyclist as my son-in-law, they would laugh at me. All right, stop talking. Sha Xin Yu was already on the verge of tears. She thought that with a handsome man, this matter could be concealed from the world. She didn't expect things to turn out like this. Although he was handsome, he was indeed a motorcyclist. It was natural for his parents to object. Your father is right. Hurry up and tell him clearly. In short, I won't recognize such a son-in-law. Mother Shaw said angrily, even if it's a domestic car, I wouldn't say anything. What future can I have with a motorcyclist? DD. The three members of the Shaw family heard the sound of a horn. They looked up and froze on the spot. This. This should be a sports car. Shaw Hong Yuan stuttered. This is the Pagani Zonda. There are only a few of these supercars worth more than 20 million in China. Sha Xin Yu was very surprised. Tianyi Homestead was just an ordinary neighborhood. It was the first time she had seen such a good car parked here. Seeing Pagani's glowing door open, Sha Xin Yu was filled with a feeling of longing. If only she could ride such a good car for once in her life. Baby, baby, what's going on? That Lin Yi, doesn't he ride a motorcycle? Why is he walking towards that car? Sha Hong Yuan said in surprise. Sha Xin Yu was also very surprised. Not only did Lin Yi walk over, he also got in the car. Lin Yi, hearing someone call him, Lin Yi, who was closing the door, glanced at Sha Xin Yu. What's wrong? The three people from the Sha family hurriedly ran over, is, is this your car? Yeah, I wouldn't be in here if it wasn't mine. Aren't you riding a motorcycle? Do, do you also drive a sports car? Sha Hong Yuan was almost too puzzled to ask. Who said I'm a motorcyclist? Can a motorcyclist register on Didi? You said it yourself. Your car has two seats. Isn't my car a two-seater? Sha Xin Yu felt like an idiot. Sports cars had two seats. This was the most basic form of common sense. Why did she not think of it? However, who would have thought that you would drive a supercar while working for Didi? If there's nothing else, I'll be leaving first. Lin Yi waved his hand. Remember what we talked about on the phone? Give me a five-star rating. Hey hey hey, son-in-law, you're already here, so don't be in such a hurry to leave. Let's find a place to have a meal and talk about our daily life. Sha Hong Yuan said with a smile. Didn't you guys have something to do? It's fine, it's fine. It's just an ordinary colleague's gathering. It's fine if we don't go. Then there's nothing else I can do. I still have other things to handle. I'm sorry. It's all right, it's all right. If there's anything you need to do, go ahead and take care of it. If you get too busy, I'll get Xiao Yu to help you. As he said that, Sha Hong Yuan even gave Sha Xin Yu a push. Don't stay at home all the time. Help him out. Sha Xin Yu got into the car half heartedly. After all, she was the one who had called for the car, so she had the right to take it. Seeing the luxurious interior of Pagani, Sha Xin Yu felt like her eyes weren't big enough to take it all in. Moreover, the seat below her was a little hot. Where are you going? Are you going to the destination listed the order? Lin Yi asked. I'm not going anywhere. Where do you want to go? I just want to experience it, and then I'll get out of the car. I'm going to the mall to buy something, but you have to change the destination, or else the order won't be completed. Okay, which mall do you want to go to? Times Square. Okay. Soon, Lin Yi received a message to change the destination on his phone and drove toward Times Square. You drive such an expensive car, and you definitely don't lack money, so why are you still driving for Didi? Sha Xin Yu asked in the car. To experience life, what's the point just living every day as if waiting for death? Lin Yi said in a high-class manner. 
You're amazing, Sha Shen Yu said sincerely. There are a lot of second generation rich kids who aren't as good as you, living a luxurious life every day. It's not easy for you to think of so many things. Everyone has their own aspirations. You can't force it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Brother Yi, I have a small request. Can you agree to it? Sha Shen Yu asked carefully. They were the same age and they did not know who between them was older and who was younger, but Sha Shen Yu had already taken the initiative to call him brother. What request? I'm a female streamer. Can I stream in your car for a while? If she could stream in such a good car, it would definitely increase the popularity of her streaming room. It doesn't matter to me, Lin Yi said. Just give me a 5-star review after the event. Okay, no problem, Sha Shen Yu said happily. As soon as the order is completed, I'll give you a good review immediately. Deal, Sha Shen Yu took out her phone and started the live stream. After 10 minutes, there were already dozens of people in the live stream room. Xiao Yu, where are you? Are you the co-partner of a tycoon? Haha, ha, stop fooling around upstairs. Xiao Yu is a 10,000-year-old single dog. How could a tycoon like this be interested in her? Maybe it's the passenger seat of a Wuling Hongguang TL Note, a type of mini Chinese electric car. Sha Shen Yu was speechless when she saw that everyone in the live broadcast room was mocking her. Was she really that bad to them? Let me tell you, the car I'm riding in this time isn't a Wuling Hongguang. It's a real luxury car. The kind that you've never seen before in your life. Ha ha, stop bragging. Show me the logo. You're wrong. She's a woman. She doesn't have the guts to do so. No, you're wrong. She's a cross-dressing boss. I saw her once that night. TCH, didn't you just want to see the logo? There's no harm in showing it to you. Sha Shen Yu slowly turned her phone and aimed it at the steering wheel. After that, the entire live broadcast room fell silent. Chapter 16, he he he, damn, it's actually a Pagani. Looking at the interior of the car, it seems to be the Pagani Zonda. This car seems to be worth more than 20 million. An ordinary rich second generation cannot afford to drive it. And look, the driver is so handsome. He's definitely a rich second generation. Seeing the comments in the live broadcast room, Sha Shen Yu's lips curled up as she said. Now you should believe it. You know what a luxury car is, right? Sha Shen Yu felt proud in her heart. You guys always look down on me. This time, I will definitely turn things around. A. Nouveau Riche 666. I suspect that this is a car that the host rented herself in order to increase her popularity. She even found a handsome driver along the way. It's just to attract attention. She must have spent a lot of money, said a troll in the live broadcast room. Are you crazy? This is the Pagani Zonda. It costs more than $20 million each. There are only a few cars of them China. Who would be willing to rent it out? Do you think it's a garbage car like Mercedes-Benz or BMW? How is that not possible? There might be dirty deals in private. Sha Shen Yu almost exploded in anger when she saw the troll's message. In this era of the internet, there were all kinds of retards. I'm not the kind of model with curves. How could I attract such a rich second generation? Why didn't he think before he spoke? This guy was definitely a loser who hated the rich and the handsome. Even so, Sha Shen Yu did not kick them out. If he stayed here, he would still contribute to her popularity. When she could not take it anymore, she could kick him out again. This streamer was too humble. Yi bro, there's a parking space in front. Let's park there, Sha Shen Yu pointed at the empty space in front. I see it, don't worry. As one of the most luxurious shopping malls in Zhanghai, people came to Times Square every day. Many people, like Sha Shen Yu, had their eyes on the only empty space available. However, when they saw Lin Yi's car approaching, they didn't dare to move. If they weren't careful, they wouldn't be able to afford offending this figure even if they sold their bodies off. Hubby, there's an empty seat in front. Go over quickly. If you're any slower, you'll be robbed. A woman in a low-cut short skirt said as she sat in a Porsche Panamera. Go to hell. The middle-aged man next to her scolded. That's a fucking supercar. Who dares to fight with him? Supercar. The woman in the front passenger seat was stunned. So what if it's a supercar? This is also a sports car. Why should we let him win? Idiot, that is a Pagani Zonda. Its price is more than 20 million. My car is only worth just over a million. In front of that car, it's not even worthy to be called trash. You want me to compete with him for the parking space? That car is actually more than 20 million. The woman in the passenger seat was instantly horrified. 
Before she came to Zhanghai, she heard everyone say that there were many rich people in Zhanghai. Now, she finally saw it for herself. Thinking of this, the woman in the passenger seat rolled her eyes. She still had to use all her strength to find a richer man. A person driving a mere Panamera was just too poor to be worthy of her. After parking the car, Sha Xin Yu was a little stunned. She still remembered the scene of the car parking. Upon seeing Lin Yi's car driving over, everyone else's cars didn't dare to move. Was this the ability of money? Wait, don't go yet, Lin Yi said. What's wrong? Good review. Oh, oh, I remember now, I'll do it now, Sha Xin Yu said in a fluster. Because Lin Yi only said, good review, the people in the live broadcast room didn't understand what was going on and didn't think of him as someone who drove for Didi. Soon, Lin Yi heard the system's notification sound. Mission completed. Obtained 200,000 experience points. Job completion. 35%. Reward. 1 Zhanghai International Racetrack, Master Level Driving Skills. Zhanghai International Racetrack, Lin Yi had a slight impression of the place the system mentioned. It seemed to be the most luxurious racetrack in Zhanghai, and even in all of Huaxia. Some people even said that it was the best racing venue apart from the Abu Dhabi racetrack in the Middle East. Lin Yi didn't know if the rumors were true or not, but it was definitely the number one track in all of China. He didn't expect it to become his business today. It was unbelievable just thinking about it. Ring, ring, ring. Lin Yi's phone rang at this time. It was an unknown number. Hello, Lin Yi said. Hello, President Lin, I'm the manager of Zhanghai International Circuit, Zhou Heitao. Since you've just bought all the shares of our circuit, I have some procedures here, and I'd like to hand them over to you. I don't have time at the moment. I'll be there in the afternoon. Will this time be convenient? Lin Yi said politely. Of course, of course. I'll be here all the time except for my official holiday on Sunday. Okay, see you in the afternoon. Lin Yi did some calculations in his mind. It wouldn't take long for him to go around to buy his daily necessities. He estimated that he would be done by the afternoon. Moreover, the system rewarded him with master level driving skills. It would be a waste if he did not go to test them out. Yi bro, what are you thinking about? Seeing that Lin Yi was in a daze, Sha Xin Yu asked tentatively. Nothing, let's go now. Yi bro, what do you want to buy? Sha Xin Yu asked after getting out of the car. I want to buy some daily necessities, clothes, and anything that suits me. Oh, oh, Sha Xin Yu was a little nervous. This was her first time coming to such a high-end mall. The things were so expensive that it was shocking. It wasn't a place for commoners like them to wander. Lin Yi looked around inside the mall and saw the Apple store not far away. Let's go there first. I want to change my phone. Lin Yi's phone was only a domestic phone that cost just over a thousand, and it was already starting to lag. It would be easier for him to take orders if he changed his phone now. Okay, the two of them went to the Apple store together. The clean lobby, bright lights, and all kinds of new equipment displayed on the counter made the entire store feel high-end. Sir, do you see any products that you like? I can introduce them to you, the sales girl greeted politely. Lin Yi pointed at the Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max on the counter and said, help me pack this up. I need 512 GB of memory. Sha Xin Yu and the salesgirl were stunned. A phone worth more than $10,000 was bought just like that. Okay, please wait a moment. Wait, wait. Sha Xin Yu stopped the salesgirl and pulled Lin Yi aside. Yi bro, it's not worth it for you to buy it here. How is it not worth it? The phones in the store are all at full price. If you buy them online, you can get at least $1,000 cheaper. There's no need since I'm already here. I'm too lazy to buy them online. I'll just them early and enjoy them early. Lin Yi walked back as he spoke. Help me pack it up. Okay, please wait a moment. Because of Lin Yi, Sha Xin Yu's popularity reached over 5 million, five times more than the usual. It's so good to be rich. Even the sales girl was stunned. She probably wanted to give herself to him. As long as one is rich, you are fated to be with anyone you want. You poor people, do you think someone is rich just because they bought a phone that costs more than $10,000? The troll asked, a few days ago, a friend of mine bought the same phone, but he wasn't as high profile as him. He <laughs> he, f asterisk ck, it wasn't you who bought it, so why are you acting so pretentious? What the, f asterisk ck, he <laughs> he, ufc king baseless accuser. Chapter 17, Shen Hao goes on a mission without a blade of grass growing. At this time, the sales girl walked over. 
Hello, sir. This is your phone. Do you want to choose a case from us? They are all original products, so the quality is guaranteed. Lin Yi looked at the counter. I don't like using those things. It doesn't feel comfortable to use. Well, it's a phone that costs more than $10,000. It's not cheap. If you don't get a case too, you might ruin its beauty, the sales girl suggested. Lin Yi thought for a moment before agreeing. You're right. Seeing that Lin Yi was willing to buy the case, the sales girl beamed. Sir, these cases in the counter are all new models. I can give you a 20% discount of their sticker price. If you buy two at once, you can get a 30% discount. Seeing that Lin Yi wanted to buy the phone cases, the live broadcast room became lively with discussion again. It was filled with sour comments. Haha, I just saw a phone case that cost more than 1,000 yuan. If he buys it without blinking, I'll admit that he's rich. Bolsh T, buy the phone case that cost more than 5,000 yuan. Only then can you be considered rich. You guys are thinking too low. Someone called Lemon King said. The truly rich are those whose phone cases are more expensive than their phones. A few days ago, a friend of mine bought a phone case that costs more than $20,000. That's what you call a rich person. Sha Shen Yu was speechless when she saw the trolls in the live broadcast room. These people were hopeless. Sir, is there a model that you like? Let me show it to you. I didn't say I wanted to buy a phone case, Lin Yi said. No, didn't you just say? I meant I wanted to buy a few more phones. If I break one, I can just use a new one, Lin Yi said. Get five of each color and pack them together. Five of each color. The sales girl almost lost her balance. Sir, there are four colors in our store for the Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. We'll have five for each color. Do you want 20 phones in total? Lin Yi nodded. After that I'll get a top quality Mac to go with it. Okay, okay, you'll have to wait a moment. She watched as Lin Yi bought almost 300,000 worth of items in one go. Sha Shen Yu was in a bad mood. This was way too extravagant. The live stream exploded again, and there were too many comments. You trolls should have seen it by now, right? The real rich people don't buy phone cases, they just replace them with new ones. This is the real deal. Awesome, a god-level tycoon is out there, not even a blade of grass can grow in his presence. He only spent $200,000, what kind of god-level tycoon is this? Have you ever seen a real rich person? I once saw a person buy more than $500,000 worth of things in one go, so this was nothing. Sha Shen Yu was speechless when she saw the messages left by the trolls. These losers who couldn't afford anything was mocking Lin Yi. They were really drunk. Lin Yi didn't care too much. After swiping his card, he waited for the shop assistant to prepare the goods. At this moment, those who were wandering around the shop looked at Lin Yi, intentionally or otherwise. Those women who were slightly more beautiful in particular were suddenly filled with ulterior motives. Soon, everything that Lin Yi wanted was packed up. Twenty cell phones and a laptop was not a small amount. Lin Yi put them back in the car and returned to Times Square. Yi bro, what are we going to buy this time? Sha Shen Yu felt that her little heart could not take it anymore. Would there be such a big difference between the consumption methods of a rich second generation and an ordinary person? I want to buy a watch. A woman's diamond ring, a man's watch. Lin Yi had always dreamed of having a good mechanical watch, but due to his lack of money, that dream never came true. Now, he had tens of millions in cash in his pocket. If he didn't buy a good watch, he would be letting himself down. Do you know anything about watches? Lin Yi asked, casually as he entered the mall again. What level of watch do you want to buy? Sha Shen Yu replied. As an anchor, she had to know a little bit of everything in order to be able to talk to her friends. Thus, Sha Shen Yu knew a little bit about this topic too. Something high-end. Seeing Lin Yi buy 20 phones in one go, Sha Shen Yu felt that she wouldn't be able to catch his eye if she recommended an average brand. In the watch industry, the most high-end brands are Patek Philippe and Vacher and Constantine. Lin Yi nodded. Let's go to these two places first. Sha Shen Yu was speechless. She was just saying it casually, but now they were really going. This was a luxury item in the watch industry. Vacher and Constantine is in front. Let's go check them out first. Okay, I'll be right there. Lin Yi said. A sales girl looked up at Lin Yi and Sha Shen Yu as they walked in, ready to welcome the guests. Where are you going? The other sales girl asked. Big Sis Lee, there's a guest here. I'm going to receive him, the tall sales girl replied. There's no need to receive him. It's just a waste of time. Why is it a waste of time? 
Didn't you see that woman live streaming on her phone? She's probably here to have fun. I've seen a lot of people like her, so there's no need to pay attention to her. Li Jia said, I don't think so. She seems to be making a lot of money as a streamer. But we're in Vatcher and Constantine. Other than the super rich, most people don't have the ability to spend money here. Go do something else. Don't take it too seriously. Li Jia CPM mented. Got it, big sis Li, the tall girl said. Lin Yi and Sha Xin Yu strolled around the shop. Upon seeing the price, Sha Xin Yu felt like she was living in a slum. An unremarkable watch cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Who could afford such a thing except for those evil capitalists? Although Lin Yi liked watches, he didn't know much about them. He went through item by item, just checking them out. Can you show me this watch? Lin Yi pointed at a leather watch. Sorry, the watches in our store are only displayed in the window. If you like it, we can take it out after you pay, the female store manager, Li, said. Huh, what kind of logic was that? How can I buy it if I cannot even look at it? Just then, a middle-aged couple walked in from the outside and started shopping on the other side of the store. The female store manager walked over. Sir, madam, is there anything I can help you with? I'm looking to get a watch. I want to choose a birthday present for my husband. You can choose anything you like. These watches were all released this year. I think that black watch is pretty good. Can I take it out and have a look? Of course. Please wait a moment. The female store manager opened the window below and took out the watch that the woman had her eyes on before handing it to the other party. Lin Yi and Sha Xin Yu exchanged glances. What was going on? They couldn't look at it when they asked, but this woman instantly took it out when serving others. Was she looking down on them? Chapter 18 Where did the sense of superiority come from? Sha Xin Yu felt a little awkward. She had long heard that these luxury goods clerks all had a kind of arrogance and did not take ordinary folks seriously. Now that she looked at it, the rumors were indeed true. Even so, you can look down on yourself, but you could not look down on Brother Yi. Subconsciously, Sha Xin Yu looked at the situation in the live broadcast room. She noticed that the trolls in her chat were getting sour again. You must be being ridiculed. They didn't show it to you because they saw that you couldn't afford it. That middle-aged couple is obviously rich. They would naturally introduce themselves to these folks. Let's go quickly. That's Vatcher and Constantine. It's not an ordinary brand. Don't embarrass yourself. Lin Yi looked at the female store manager. What do you mean? We are all customers. We should be treated equally, right? I'm sorry, we provide services according to the customer level. I hope you can understand, the female manager said. Customer level, I have my own evaluation principles. I'll assign different levels and then provide different levels of services. Ha ha, to put it bluntly, it's like looking at a person and thinking of him as lowly. Seeing that Lin Yi was angry, Sha Xin Yu quickly pulled him back. Yi bro, calm down. These people from luxury stores are always like that. There's no need to be angry. Sir, please watch your words and attitude. Otherwise, we'll have to call security. The female store manager rolled her eyes and said. They were just two grandstanding streamers. It was already an act of mercy for her to let them look around inside the store. If it was the luxury store upstairs, they wouldn't even give you the chance to enter the shop. You're just a dog with a few vaturing Constantines. How can you be so pretentious? Where does your sense of superiority come from? Lin Yi cursed. But this might be a brand you can't afford for the rest of your life. The female store manager mocked. Yi bro, let's go. Sha Xin Yu knew that rich people like Lin Yi had bad tempers. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Sha Xin Yu pulled Lin Yi's arm and dragged him out of the Vatran Constantine store. There were other brands of expensive watches anyway, so they did not have to buy them here. Seeing Lin Yi and Sha Xin Yu leave, the middle-aged couple who were shopping for watches shook their heads with a smile. Young people nowadays are too hot-tempered. They don't have the ability to spend money, yet they're still so arrogant. These young people are too impetuous. They're so arrogant just because they have a few fans online. A high-end brand like Vatcher and Constantine isn't a place for them. You're right, times have changed. Grandstanding has become a trend, the female store manager said with a smile. Exactly, the middle-aged customer replied with a smile. But these two are quite interesting. They actually went to Patek Philippe. Even if they are young, they can't be ignorant. Patek Philippe store. Seeing Lin Yi and Sha Xin Yu come in, the female store manager was very polite and didn't show any annoyance. Sir, madam, do you want to see a men's watch or a women's watch? 
I can show them to you, the uniformed salesgirl said. Lin Yi looked at Sha Shen Yu, any good suggestions? This, this is a bit high end. I don't really know much about it, I only know how it looks, Sha Shen Yu said guiltily. Ask the people in your live broadcast. Lin Yi liked to spend his time watching live broadcasts when he had nothing to do. He knew that there were people in the industry who understood the lifestyle of being a young master better than he did. Sha Shen Yu checked on the situation in the streaming room and found that someone had indeed given a reasonable suggestion. The 7140G001 timepiece series is not bad. It fits the temperament of a god-level tycoon. The 7140G001 seems to be worth more than 2 million. The price is suitable, it's indeed not bad. Hee <laughs> hee, a watch worth more than 2 million is also referred to as a watch. Just by wearing a watch worth more than 2 million, do you think you are worthy to be called a godly tycoon? If so, godly tycoons in this world are too worthless. I've let two act all high and mighty, yet you actually look down on a watch worth more than 2 million. Come, come, come. You can recommend it. Let us see what kind of watch is considered a good watch. Lemunking's words instantly caused the people in the live broadcast room to surround and attack him. However, Lemon King had been on the battlefield for so many years. Naturally, he would not be intimidated by such a display. When they entered the shop just now, there was a Patek Philippe 175th anniversary commemorative piece in the window. It was sold for 17.5 million. If you really think you are a god-level tycoon, you should buy this watch. Are you FC King retarded? Even the Emperor of Shanghai said that he would not buy this watch. You want god-level tycoon Lin to buy this watch? You must be out of your mind. Haha, <laughs> if you can't afford it, then say you can't afford it. Why are you criticizing me? At that moment, Lin Yi moved closer to Sha Shen Yu and looked at the screen. Did the netizens in the room give their opinions? Don't listen to him, this person is a sour spirit. It makes him uncomfortable seeing how rich you are, Sha Shen Yu said. There was a netizen who recommended you buy a 7140G001. He said that this watch is pretty good. Lin Yi looked at the situation in the broadcast room. He actually recommended that I buy a 175th anniversary commemorative piece. The female Patek Philippe employees shook their heads at those words. These keyboard warriors were really daring. The 175th anniversary commemorative piece was limited to six pieces worldwide and sold for $17.5 million each. Its actual significance wasn't just in its exquisite workmanship and value. More importantly, it represented the value of the 100-year-old Patek Philippe brand's workmanship. The person who recommended this watch did not know anything at all. All he knew was the price. It was too low. Brother Yi, don't listen to them. That 7140G001 is not bad. Sha Shen Yu said, as the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. For the 175th anniversary watch to be sold at such a high price, there must be a reason for it. That's true, but this watch costs 17.5 million. The price is indeed a bit too high. Seeing that Lin Yi had admitted defeat, the trolls in the live streaming room stood up and attacked him. You're a coward now, aren't you? If you don't have money, don't pretend to be a tycoon. It's too easy to slap you in the face. You bought an iPhone and a computer for hundreds of thousands of dollars and you think you can show off your superiority. You're too naive, you'll get struck by lightning if you act so cool. You should keep a low profile when you go out. Don't think that the whole world is yours just because you drive a Pagani Zonda. There are still things in this world that you can't afford. Ye bro, don't be angry. I'll kick these people out of the live broadcast room right now. There's nothing to be angry about. Lin Yi said with a smile. Although the price is a little expensive, I can still afford it. Lin Yi walked to the window and looked at it with confidence. It looked pretty good, and he should be able to bring it around with him. Can you help me pack up the 175th anniversary watch? Everyone was shocked when they heard that. Their eyes and mouths were wide open, and they couldn't believe their ears. Sir. What did you say? You want to buy the 175th anniversary watch? Lin Yi nodded. Can't I? Chapter 19. I'm freaking out. Of, of course you can. Then help me put it away. Lin Yi did some calculations. With his current assets, buying a watch worth 17.5 million was a bit of a luxury. However, the guy was mocking him in public. If he didn't show off, he'd really be looked down on. After all, the Peninsula Hotel and the Zhanghai International Racetrack were both his now, and he'd have a steady stream of income in the future. It didn't matter if he spent some money to buy a watch at this moment. 
The people in the broadcast room exploded when they heard that Lin Yi was going to buy the 175th anniversary model. Grandkids, did you see that? Almighty Lin is going to buy the 175th anniversary model. Is there anything else you want to force him to do? He spent 17.5 million just like that. You've never seen so much money in your life, have you? Is Almighty Lin looking for a sugar baby? I can do anything. Faced with the crowd's attack, the trolls stopped talking. In reality, they just wanted to use the keyboard in their hands to mock him. However, he had casually bought a watch worth 17.5 million. There was no more room for them to mock him anymore. Sir, there's something I need to explain to you. The female store manager walked over and said in the gentlest tone. The model in the window is just a model. If you really want to buy it, we'll need to transfer the goods over from the Swiss headquarters. It'll take at least three days. All right, but I might not have time to come over. Do you provide door-to-door -door service? Sir, you must be joking. If you buy this watch, even if the officials don't provide delivery service, we'll still pay out of our own pockets to deliver it to you. Don't worry about that. All right then, use your card now. Lin Yi handed the card over. Password 000000. He took the card from Lin Yi's hand and swiped away 17.5 million yuan. Even the female employees who were used to seeing rich people were amazed, let alone Sha Xin Yu. Spending so much money to buy a watch. Most rich people would not do such a thing. Little son, go and take down the watch from the window display, said the female shop assistant. Got it, Sister Lu. I'll go now. Sha Xin Yu was a little curious. Why did you take it down? Are you not selling it anymore? Ma'am, it's like this. There are only six pieces of this 175th anniversary model available throughout the world, and only one piece is allocated to China. If Mr. Lin buys this watch, Patek Philippe stores across the country will no longer have the right to sell this watch, so we have to take it down. I see. Seeing the female shop assistant take down the model in the window, the surrounding people came over to watch the show. This 175th anniversary commemorative watch had been displayed in the window for more than a year. No one had expected that it would be taken down on such an ordinary day. This meant that someone had bought this watch. The staff members of several nearby stores were very curious. They wanted to come out and see which tycoon had bought this $10 million watch. Little son, you sold the 175th anniversary model. Zhang Li, the female store manager of Vacher and Constantine, asked in surprise. We just sold it. A gentleman bought this watch. There are too many tycoons in Zhanghai. They actually bought this watch. Let me see what it looks like. Zhang Li was a little jealous. Vacher and Constantine was not a bad brand. Why did the tycoon go to Patek Philippe instead? He's in the shop, the sale girl said. Zhang Li tilted her head and glanced at the Patek Philippe store. She was stunned. Isn't that the young couple that came to my store just now? Zhang Li asked. At that moment, Lin Yi walked out of the store with a receipt and bumped into Zhang Li. What a coincidence, you're here. Lin Yi remarked, Sir, you bought the 175th anniversary watch. Do you have a problem with that? No, 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 I don't have a problem with that. Zhang Li wanted to die. If she didn't look down on people just now, they would have spent their money in her store, right? She was freaking losing my mind. Sir, our store has a lot of new models too. Why don't you come to our store again? Forget it. Your Vacher and Constantine is too high class. A poor man like me can only afford Patek Philippe. Lin Yi said. The employees of Patek Philippe were secretly laughing. These rich kids really knew how to rub salt in their wounds. Sir, I'm just a small shopkeeper. Why do you have to lower yourself to my level? Zhang Li smiled awkwardly. It's mainly because your brand is too high class, and I really can't afford it. Lin Yi pointed at the middle-aged couple not far away. You can go look for them. They're obviously rich people. I only have coins in my pocket. So how can I compete with them? Seeing Zhang Li and the middle-aged couple being ridiculed, the live broadcast room was filled with jeers. Serves you right for looking down on Almighty Lin. You're courting death. Even the noble Vacher and Constantine cannot afford to offend him. What the FCK, even Patek Philippe is considered a cheap to him. Lin Yi looked around and found the elevator. He said to Sha Xin Yu. Let's go upstairs. Okay, okay, okay. Sha Xin Yu felt good when she saw Lin Yi mocking Zhang Li. It was great to be rich. If it was her, she would have left quietly after being provoked by Zhang Li. However, Lin Yi was different. He bought a watch worth nearly 17.5 million and verbally slapped Zhang Li in the face. 
She didn't even dare to say a word in response. It was good to have money. Under the envy of countless people, the two of them reached the sixth floor together. This was a section that sold luxury goods. If you just gave the word, there was nothing that could not be bought here. Do you know anything about men's clothing? Lin Yi asked. The clothes he used to wear were Anta, Samir, and the like. Lin Yi didn't know much about other brands of men's clothing, so he wanted to ask for Sha Shen Yu's opinion. I heard that Versace and Armani's men's clothing are pretty good. You can go check them out. Sha Shen Yu had only heard of them. She didn't know much about the two brands. If it wasn't for Lin Yi, she wouldn't have had the guts to come to this floor before this. Let's go. Versace seems to be in front. Let's go check them first. Okay. They walked a dozen meters forward and were stopped by the salesgirl as soon as they entered the store. Sir, please wait. What's wrong? The salesgirl didn't say anything but pointed at a small sign next to them. The two looked at it and saw that it read, No webcasting allowed. Sha Shen Yu felt awkward when she saw the sign and her face turned red. Huh, what kind of rule is that? Your mall is too weird, Lin Yi said. It's not a mall rule, it's because one online streamer's reputation in particular wasn't very good. Not only did she criticize us, but she didn't even buy anything in the end. We had no choice but to enforce this rule. The salesgirl's face was filled with a sense of superiority. She was basically saying that Lin Yi was a poor guy who was just trying to please the crowd. Chapter 20. Diamond Membership. Yi bro, why don't you go in? I'll wait outside. What's the point of waiting outside? Lin Yi said, the customer is God. There's no God who waits outside. But, let's go. We can always buy it at home, so let's go to another store for now. Don't they have Armani here? Sha Shen Yu thanked Lin Yi from the bottom of her heart. To a certain extent, he had protected her dignity. Although she was a woman, she still had to save face. They didn't walk far before they reached the Armani store. The men's clothes were pretty good, and they were ready to buy a few pieces. Sir, madam, I'm sorry. There's a rule in the store that forbids streamers from entering. Before they could enter the store, they were stopped again. What's wrong with, streamers, is there a need for this? Lin Yi was a little confused. They didn't break the law, so why could they not enter? We're a luxury store. Firstly, filming is forbidden. Honestly, if streamers were to film in our store, it would affect our daily business. Lin Yi shook his head. Selling a luxury product wasn't enough to give him a sense of superiority. Then I'll put away my phone. It should be enough, right? Sha Shen Yu didn't want Lin Yi to be embarrassed, so she took the initiative to say this. It's up to you whether you want to keep it or not. If you really want to come and spend, we will welcome you. But if you just want to watch, I don't think we should waste each other's time. Let's go to the other shops, Lin Yi said. I don't believe it, all the shops are like this. If he shook Sha Shen Yu off, no one would stop him from entering. However, she had been following him this whole time and given him a lot of pertinent advice. Naturally, he couldn't leave her behind. Lin Yi didn't think of himself as a gentleman, but at the very least, he had to be gentlemanly. It's the same if you go to other stores. Unless it's a domestic brand you won't be able to enter international brands like us don't allow webcasters to enter. You'll be rejected even if you try, so you'd better go somewhere else, the female employee from LV said. Seeing the people from the other stores watching the show, Sha Shen Yu was extremely embarrassed. Were webcasts so unpopular? She did not do anything wrong. Since we can't buy anything here, let's go somewhere else, Lin Yi said lightly, not taking the situation to heart. Okay, Sha Shen Yu responded and the two of them walked toward the elevator. Just then, the elevator door opened. A young man in a suit walked out and ran to Lin Yi's side. Hey, Mr. Lin, I found you. You're looking for me. Lin Yi was a little confused. I don't think we know each other. Mr. Lin, let me introduce myself first. I'm Li Shucheng, the manager of Times Square. You're looking for me. It's like this. You bought that $17.5 million watch at Patek Philippe's store just now, and you automatically got a diamond member from Times Square. I'm here to give you a card. $17.5 million. Li Shucheng's words made all the employees in the store gape in shock. They were in a bad mood. How could they reject such a super rich man? Who gave them the courage to do this? Li Shucheng handed over a platinum card. It seemed to be covered with real gold dust. If there's such a rule, Lin Yi said with a smile, then I'll take it. Yes, you can get a diamond membership if you spend more than 10 million in our mall. All right, I'll take it first. Bye, Mr. 
Lin, aren't you going to look around anymore? Li Shucheng asked when he saw Lin Yi leaving empty-handed. They won't let me in either, what's the point of walking around for? They won't let you in. Li Shucheng paused for a moment. How can that be? We're a high-end mall, we won't stop customers from entering. My friend is a streamer, so these people are blocking us from entering, Lin Yi said. Maybe they're afraid that we won't be able to afford the things inside. No, 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 sir, please don't misunderstand. A few female employees of LV walked out and stood in front of Lin Yi, apologizing profusely. We didn't mean to offend you. I hope you won't hold it against us. The female employees almost peed their pants. They could afford $17.5 million watches, so would they not be able to afford a few clothes? Besides, the Diamond members of Times Square had many privileges. If they complained, they would be fired without any room for negotiation. This time, they had disturbed a hornet's nest. At the same time, the employees of Versace and Armani also stood up and apologized to Lin Yi. Sir, I'm really sorry. We didn't mean it. I hope you can give us a chance. Lin Yi looked around and saw the female employees of various specialty stores all standing around and apologizing. Sha Xin Yu's live broadcast room immediately turned into a large-scale carnival. I can't stand those disgusting mouths of theirs. They think they're superior just because they're selling luxury goods. Where does their sense of superiority come from? Hurry up and file a complaint against them. Fire all of them. They actually dare to look down on Almighty Lin. Don't they know what they're doing? Why don't you let the webcasters in? They've dug their own family's graves. Li Shucheng did not know that such a big commotion was going on in the live broadcast room. However, from from his expression, the staff knew that he was about to die from anger. What's wrong with you people? How many times have I told you not to judge people based on their appearance? Do you all want to quit? Just now, Li Shucheng secretly checked Lin Yi's spending records. He found that not only did he buy a 17.5 million watch, but he also bought 20 mobile phones and the latest Mac computer. He didn't look at the price of things like this. If it wasn't for this incident, he could have spent at least a few hundred thousand more. This was great. He had been ruined by these people. The female employees all lowered their heads, their arrogant expression swept away. In order to protect their jobs, some of them were still apologizing. There's no need to apologize, go back to your work. Lin Yi waved his hand lightly and brought Sha Xin Yu downstairs. Li Shucheng lectured the others a few more times before rushing downstairs with Lin Yi. On the fifth floor, most of the brands were second-tier luxury brands. Both domestic and foreign brands accounted for half of the shops here, and the styles were pretty good. After buying five sets of clothes in one go, Li Shucheng arranged for someone to help Lin Yi carry them down. Mr. Lin, there's a Panamera not too far away. Is that your car? The car had been sold for more than $2 million, and it was very likely to belong to Lin Yi. With his status, a car like the BMW no longer suited his temperament. Lin Yi shook his head. My car is on the other side of the parking lot. Li Shucheng turned around and sucked in a breath of cold air. Pa Paganini Zonda, this, this car should be worth more than 20 million yuan. Chapter 21 Three cups of wine in the boundless secular world, a cup of tea in the everlasting great cause. Lin Yi nodded, it's just a tool for transportation, don't make a fuss about it. Transportation, transportation, Lin Yi's words made Li Shucheng deeply feel the malice of the rich. They actually said that the 20 million plus Zonda was just for transportation. Are you joking, big brother? Lin Yi patted Li Shucheng on the shoulder. I'm leaving now. Okay, okay, okay. I hope that today's incident won't cause any trouble for Mr. Lin. On behalf of all the employees of Times Square, I look forward to seeing you again. Lin Yi and Sha Xin Yu got into the car under the watchful eyes of countless people. Where are you going? I can take you home. Just take me home, Sha Xin Yu said with satisfaction. She was already satisfied to be able to ride a supercar today and even follow Lin Yi around Times Square. Okay, this time, Lin Yi didn't make Xin Yu place any more orders. After all, he had given her a lot of advice. He couldn't take her money anymore. Besides, it was just one order. It wasn't a big deal. After driving to Tianyi Homestead, Lin Yi took out a phone and handed it to Xin Yu. This is, for you, thank you for your help. For, for me. Sha Xin Yu was shocked when she saw the phone Lin Yi handed her. This was an Apple phone worth more than $10,000. What else? That's not good. I was satisfied to even ride in a supercar. Take it. It's not much money. Thank you, Brother Yi. 
After getting out of the car, Sha Xin Yu watched Lin Yi leave with her phone in her hand. What happened today was too surreal for her. She casually dialed a Didi and pretended that he was her boyfriend, but she actually met a rich kid who was out trying to experience life. Life was full of surprises. After sending Sha Xin Yu home, Lin Yi did not take any more orders. Instead, he followed the directions of the GPS and drove to the Zhanghai International Racetrack. Lin Yi felt like he was in a dream when he saw the five and a half square kilometer circuit. This would be his territory from now on. Lin Yi walked straight into the office building at the entrance. The structure was similar to other companies. There was a big reception bar at the entrance with two young women sitting inside. They were chattering nonstop, as if they were gossiping. Do you know, I heard that Chin Han is coming to our car racing field, one of the long-haired women said. Who is Chin Han? The long-haired woman asked curiously. Obviously, she didn't know this person. You are too outdated. Don't you read Weibo? If you don't even know the famous emperor of Shanghai, Chin Han, you are out of date. I really don't know this person, the long-haired woman said in a silly and cute manner. It's said that this young master Chin is a rich second generation that is even richer than Principal Wang. Moreover, his identity is extremely mysterious. Until now, no one knows what his family does, the short-haired woman said in a fascinated manner. Some people say that he is a wealthy second generation, and some people say that the Chin family is a hidden aristocratic family. In any case, there are different opinions. In short, he is very rich. Such a person should not be someone we can afford to provoke, right? That is for sure, if we are lucky enough to take a photo with him later, we will make a big profit today. As for this appearance, A, it seems that someone is coming. Seeing that someone had come in, the two of them immediately stopped talking and stood up. Sir, we are not open to the public today. I'm here to see your manager. His name is Joe Haytao, right? What do you want from our manager? Lin Yi thought about it. If he were to say that he bought their racetrack, these two would probably think that he was retarded. After all, he didn't look like a rich man in his current clothes. Just say my name is Lin Yi. You can inform him. Oh, okay, please wait a moment. The receptionist said, sorry for the trouble, Lin Yi said. Just as the short-haired woman was about to leave, the door was pushed open, and four people walked in. They were all very young and in their twenties. In terms of clothing, they were a few grades higher than Lin Yi. Lin Yi felt that the man in the lead looked familiar. He seemed to be the Chin Han that they were talking about earlier. He wasn't as high-profile as Principal Wang, but his picture was often shared on Weibo. Chin Han's expression didn't look too good when he saw Lin Yi. In fact, he looked a little serious. Didn't I tell you guys to clear the area today? Why are there outsiders here? The short-haired woman was startled by Chin Han's question. Young Master Chin, I'm really sorry. This gentleman is looking for our manager Joe. The short-haired woman said. Get Fatty Joe to come down and deal with this quickly. We have driving practice today and we don't want anyone to disturb us. Chin Han snapped. I'm sorry, young Master Chin. I'll make the arrangements right away. The short-haired woman said apologetically. The short-haired woman walked out from the front desk and pulled Lin Yi to the side. Let's go. Follow me to the second floor. Don't make young Master Chin unhappy. The short-haired woman snapped. Lin Yi smiled. Is that necessary? He doesn't seem to be your leader. He's not our leader, but he's the famous Chin Han. Not many people can provoke him in Zhanghai. If it wasn't for you, young Master Chin wouldn't have lost his temper. The short-haired woman sighed in her heart. If it was not for this person, she might have gotten a group photo. Everything was fine before he arrived, but now it was all ruined. The two of them went to the second floor together and the short-haired woman knocked on the door. A deep voice came from inside. Come in. Lin Yi pushed the door open and entered. There was a mahogany desk inside, with a fat middle-aged man in his forties was sitting behind it, looking at the report in his hand. Manager Zhou, there's a guest. Hei Tao stood up as soon as he saw who came in. Hey Lin, why are you here by yourself? You should have called me in advance so I could pick you up. Li Lin, the short-haired woman paused, looking at Lin Yi in disbelief. Which company's boss was this? He was so young, there's no need to make such a big fuss. It's the same even if you had picked me up yourself. Zhou Heitao led Lin Yi to the sofa and ordered. Little Zhao, go get a glass of water for our Lin. What are you standing there for? Our boss Lin. Our Zhanghai International Racetrack has been bought out by Boss Lin. Call him Boss Lin from now on. Bought out. The short-haired woman called Zhao was dumbstruck. 
The person she had been complaining about was her boss. What kind of family did he have? How could he be so rich? I know, I know. I'll go now. While the short-haired woman poured the water, Zhou Heitao handed Lin Yi the documents that he had prepared beforehand. Lin, this is the company's production and business numbers for the past half year. Please have a look. I won't look at these professional things. Everything will be done according to the your previous operational plans. If there's anything that can't be solved, just report it to me. Got it, Lin. You can give me any instructions at any time. As subordinates, we will cooperate fully. Lin Yi stood up and said, I'm not here to show you guys my power. From now on, this place will be my property. Take me down to have a look around the place. Three cups of wine in the boundless secular world, a cup of tea in the everlasting great cause. With this top class car racing field, his first step to stardom had finally been taken. Chapter 22 Lin is the boss here. All right, all right, all right. Please follow me, Mr. Lin. Under the guidance of Joe Haytow, the two of them arrived at the viewing platform of the racing track. The winding track was magnificent and breathtaking. It made Lin Yi's hands itchy as he took in the view. Lin, since you bought this place, you must be a racing enthusiast as well. Do you want to drive a couple of laps around the track? Joe Haytow suggested. Sure, Lin Yi nodded. He'd gotten a master level driving skill when he'd first obtained this racetrack. Now that he had the chance, he naturally wanted to experience it. My car's parked at gate C. Get someone to drive it over for me. Lin Yi said. Heitao broke out in cold sweat when he saw the car keys in Lin Yi's hand. Zhang Hai's second generation rich kids generally owned Lamborghinis, 911s, and the like. His boss was really extravagant to get a Pagani. When it came to this brand, even the cheapest. Model cost close to 10 million. It was simply inhumane. Okay, I'll make the arrangements right away. Taking the keys to the Pagani, Joe Heitao called over a staff member. Go and drive boss Lin's car over. Be careful when driving, don't scratch it. Don't worry, manager. I often drive Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and the like, so I definitely won't make a mistake. Those multi-million dollar cars are nothing. This is boss Lin's Pagani Zonda. It's worth close to 30 million. It's different from other sports cars. A Pagani. The staff felt the keys in their hands grow heavy when he found out that Lin Yi's car was a Pagani Zonda. Got it, manager. I'll be more careful. Okay, go. After that, Zhou Heitao looked at Lin Yi. Mr. Lin, let's go down and take a look around. If there's anything you're not satisfied with, we can fix it in the near future. Let's go. We have nothing else to do anyway. The two of them walked down the stairs to the arena. When they arrived, waves of roaring sound could be heard from afar. Two Porsches, an Aston Martin DB9 and a Lamborghini Aventador came from around the bend. They stopped in front of Lin Yi and Zhou Heitao. These four were all luxury cars, but the former two paled in comparison to the Aston Martin and Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Aventador, in particular, had a domestic price of more than $9 million. It was definitely one of the top luxury cars in the country. Zhou Heitao stood up straight at the sight of the cars, his expression especially respectful. The doors opened one after another, and Chin Han and his friend got out of the car with a bad expression on their faces. Fatty Joe, what's wrong with you? Are you taking my words for granted? What are you talking about, young Master Chin? I told you three days ago that I was booking this place and even brought guests in. What are you thinking? Chin Han barked. Don't you understand the meaning of the word, random people? Young Master Chin, you might have misunderstood. The person standing beside me is Mr. Lin Yi. He took full ownership of our Zhanghai International Racetrack this morning. Now, this place is his property. Zhou Heitao shook his head. Even though Chin Han's name was famous. However, when it really came down to it, these guys were the random people. You said he's the boss here. Chin Han and his friends were all stunned. They didn't expect this casually dressed guy to actually buy the entire Zhanghai International Circuit. If he wanted to buy this circuit, he would need at least a few billion dollars. He was young, so he must have spent his family's money to buy it. Even so, if he could easily spend a few billion dollars, his identity was probably not simple. Manager Joe, I'm going to run a few laps around here later. Clear everyone out, if there's a breach of contract, I'll pay the penalty. Lin Yi said, this, Joe Heitao was in a bit of a dilemma. The person standing in front of him was the famous young master Chin Han. How dare he say something like that when they were supposed to be on the same side. 
Chin Han smiled and took out an unwrapped packet of cigarettes from his pocket before handing one to Lin Yi. It was obviously a special cigarette. Bro, sorry about earlier. Have one. Lin Yi took the cigarette and lit it up for Chin Han. Do you want to go for a run? Lin Yi shook his head. I think I'll pass. It's fine. I'll give you 10 seconds heads up. It's just entertainment anyway. I'll treat it as if we're friends. What I mean is that you're no match for me, so forget it. You must be joking. Chin Han held a cigarette between his fingers and pointed at his Lamborghini Aventador. When I bought this car, I spent more than 9 million, and I even spent another 3 million modifying it. Do you really think I'm no match for you? Performance is only one aspect. The most important thing is still the driver. Even if you say so, I'm not convinced, Chin Han replied. I've been in this circle since I was 18 years old. I've won a lot of awards, big and small. There's definitely a gap between me and professional racers, but in the amateur circle, I've never felt challenged. Then let's run two laps. In any case, my hands are itching. I want to see what it feels like to race here. Where's your car? Chin Han looked around. If you think my car is too good and I am taking advantage of you, I can change it to something else. No need. It's just a Lamborghini. Chin Han and his friends' faces were dark. This pretentious guy, it's just a Lamborghini. Buzz buzz buzz. A rumbling sound was heard at this time. Looking in the direction of the sound, Chin Han saw a silver colossus driving in from the entrance. What the FCK, what's that? It's Pagani's Zonda. I only ever saw this car in Yanjing. There's another one in Zhanghai. Chin Han looked at Lin Yi in surprise. This car is yours. Yeah, it's not expensive, but it should be better than your car. Chin Han was speechless. This car was not just better. Even after adding the modification, it was still not half as valuable as the Pagani. What AFC King poser? The Pagani stopped in front of everyone and Lin Yi said, Isn't driving this car a little unfair? That's not the case, Chin Han said. Your car isn't cheap, but from the looks of it, it shouldn't have been modified. As for my Lamborghini Aventador, I spent more than 3 million on the modifications alone. In terms of performance, it's definitely not inferior to yours. It's even slightly ahead. I'm the one who is being unfair. Let's give it a try then. Chin Han waved his hand at his friend. Move the cars aside and give up the venue. I'll run two laps with this guy. No problem. The remaining three cars were placed in the public area. Meanwhile, Lin Yi's Zonda and Chin Yi's Aventador were also parked on the track. The 911's owner asked, Who do you think has a better chance of winning? Of course, no matter how expensive his Zonda is, it's still a stock car. Old Chin's Aventador cost more than 3 million yuan to modify. Even a screw can be considered top-notch. In terms of performance, it's better than the son of the wind. Coupled with his own driving skills, this match will definitely be a crushing defeat. It's no competition, the owner of the Aston Martin said. Chapter 23 To use a sports car to drive for Didi, confusion for anyone who witnesses it. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The roar was repeatedly heard, and Joe Haytow is stood in the middle of the track, shouting. 3, 2, 1, action. At the sound of a command, two supercars leapt out like beasts. Just a few dozen meters out, Lin Yi was a body length ahead of Chin Han. How is this possible? The 911's owner exclaimed in shock, young master Chin's car's strongest point is its starting point, and now he's lost. This scene stunned Chin Han's friends. No one had expected this to happen right from the start. Don't panic, old Chin's curve-taking skills are second to none. Behind him are continuous curves, and that's where he'll show his true skills. The Aston Martin's owner said. A few minutes later, as they were halfway through the race, Chin Han's friends' hearts were in their throats. Ahead of them were consecutive curves. It was time to test their skills. F asterisk CK, what's going on? Young Master Chin has already slowed down and is ready to take the curve, but why doesn't that Zonda have any reaction at all? Does he want to rush it at this speed? The 911's owner gasped. Nonsense. Even professional racers wouldn't dare to enter the corner at this speed. One moment of carelessness and the car will be destroyed. That kid is definitely crazy. A few seconds later, Chin Han's friends were stunned again. They could not believe what they were seeing. He actually went through two corners in a row. If I'm not wrong, he entered the corner at a speed of 130 miles per hour. This guy's definitely crazy. His car, in all aspects, isn't as good as old Chin's Aventador, yet he's still able to take turns at this speed. It's as beautiful as a painting. Lin Yi's car stopped in front of everyone after taking a few turns in a row. 
He was at least 10 seconds ahead of Chin Han. Chin Han's eyes turned into admiration when he got out of the car. I admit defeat, Chin Han said. But I want to know, how could you start faster than me? Because your starting method is wrong, so it's only natural that you're not as good as me. Not as good as you. Before you start, step on the clutch, put it in first gear, and then step on the accelerator. Control the speed of the clutch, coordinate with the accelerator, and floor the pedal to accelerate. After squeezing out the engine's power, change the gear. That's the best way to start. Chin Han and the others were stunned. This was the first time they had heard of such a way of starting after all these years of driving. This was too unconventional. How did you do that? Lin Yi shrugged and said casually, practice makes perfect. This is a technical problem. If it wasn't my first time driving on this track, I might have been even faster. Awesome. Chin Han gave him a thumbs up. I saw a master today. Chin Han took out his phone. Bro, can you add me on WeChat? Let's keep in touch. Sure. Lin Yi took out his phone and added Chin Han's WeChat. I'll find a place to hang out tonight. Let's have a drink and treat it is our opportunity to be friends. Before Lin Yi could reply, his phone rang. It was from Ji Qingyan. Come pick me up at the office. I need to call a car. Let me know when you arrive. No problem. Ji Qingyan knew that Lin Yi was out experiencing life, but she did not say that he should give her a free ride. On the contrary she was going to get him to come over before placing an order. I'm afraid I can't do it today. I have a job to do. Lin Yi said before hanging up. Let's do it another day. You have work to do. Someone called for a car. I have to go to work. Ah, a car, work. Yeah, I'm a DD driver. I can't say no if someone wants to place an order. Chin Han and the others were speechless. Don't tell me you're driving a Pagani Didi. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? F asterisk CK. Chin Han said, you seem to be joking with me. You can't even earn back the gas money from a trip with Didi. I can still make a little money. Otherwise, how am I supposed to support my family? Lin Yi said, Chin Han, buying this racetrack in one go and saying that he was going to support his family by running Didi. Who the hell would believe that? I'll be going now. You guys can continue playing. Lin Yi said. Lin Yi waved his hand and got into the car before heading toward Chaoyang Group. Zhou Heitao didn't know how to describe his complicated feelings. He had thought that a rich young master like Chin Han would already know how to race. He did not think that his boss would be even better at it. He took the sports car and started dribbling with it. About 30 minutes later, Lin Yi drove to the underground parking lot of the company and sent a WeChat message to Ji Qingyan. He then waited for her to come out of the car. Lin Yi looked around and found his old sherry, which was still parked there alone. He had to drive to the Jojo Pavilion when he had the time. This was the first car he had owned in his life. Although it was now considered a second-tier car, he had to deal with it properly. Not long after, Ji Qingyan carried her bag as she stepped off the elevator. You're really fast. I thought it would take a while to get here. Don't say fast. This word is cursed. Ji Qingyan paused for a moment, then smiled. I didn't mean anything by it. You're overthinking. I'm going to place an order. Look at your phone before someone else takes it away. Don't worry, I'm watching. The order was successful, and Lin Yi headed toward Ji Qingyan's villa. Oh right, I have a class reunion tonight. You have to come pick me up. No need to be so polite. I'm just a manual worker. There's no reason for me not to do business. Lin Yi said, who's going to believe that you're a manual worker? Ji Qingyan rolled her eyes at Lin Yi. Even I'm not driving a Pagani yet. Lin Yi smiled. Aren't you going to a class reunion? Why are you going home? It's so troublesome to plan it that way. I've been wearing this outfit for a whole day. I need to change and tidy up. There's still 8 S squats left, Lin Yi said. Tisk, you stinky men, you keep thinking about these things in your head. I originally wanted to forget about it, but you were the one who said you'd keep your promise. I'm just reminding you, how can you blame me for that? Of course, I can't believe you could even think of something like that. All men are pigs. Lin Yi was speechless. Ji Qingyun was too naive. A mere S squat was not exactly complex, right? Soon, Lin Zhang drove the car to the villa. The two entered the house one after the other. Ji Qingyun put down her handbag and said, There's drinks and coffee in the fridge. Help yourself to them. I won't stand on ceremonies then. Ji Qingyun went upstairs and Lin Yi went into the fridge to get a bottle of iced coffee. However, he was surprised to find more than 10 pairs of stockings in the fridge. The iced coffee in his hand instantly lost its fragrance. Chapter 24. Close the curtains. 
Why did you put the coffee back? Standing upstairs, Ji Qingyan asked. When I saw your stockings and coffee together, I instantly didn't want to drink it. You haven't been to other women's homes before, have you? Ji Qingyan ridiculed. How did you know? Women's stockings are all kept in the refrigerator. This way, they are more durable, Ji Qingyan said. Besides, those stockings are unopened, they're all new. What are you afraid of? Your thoughts are running wild. Forget it, I'll have a glass of water. Seeing that Lin Yi didn't drink the coffee in the fridge, Ching Yin could not help but laugh. It looked quite cute. Sure, make whatever you want. I'll be taking a shower later, it might take some time. My laptop is on the dining table, so feel free to use it. Okay. Soon, the sound of running water could be heard from upstairs. Lin Yi was bored, so he got up and walked around the villa. The air was fresh and the scenery was pleasant. When he came yesterday, Lin Yi was still envious of Ji Qingyan's villa. However, now he didn't feel that way anymore. All of Jojo Pavilion was his, so there was nothing to be envious of anymore. Lin Yi had nothing to do, so he took Ji Qingyan's laptop and found a movie to kill time. About 20 minutes later, the sound of running water came to an end, and the door opened. There's a new email for you on the computer, Lin Yi said. Ji Qingyan's voice came from upstairs. It should be a business document. Don't worry about it, just keep doing your thing. It doesn't seem to be a business email from your company. It's not a business email. It seems to be a delivery notice from a certain merchant. Your 3060 black lace underwear has been delivered. For the next 10 seconds or so, there was nothing but silent. No, don't worry about it. Ji Qingyun felt like she was going crazy. If it's been delivered, then it's been delivered. Why did you use your email to remind me of it? Why did you send the goods at this time? Are you trying to kill me? In reality, Ji Qingyun would get this reminder every time she bought something, but she didn't take it seriously before this. President Ji, there's another email on your computer. Before Lin Yi could finish his sentence, he heard the sound of footsteps coming from the second floor. Ji Qingyun ran in front of Lin Yi with a towel wrapped around her body. She grabbed the laptop from Lin Yi and peeked at it. It was junk mail. It's just junk mail. Why did you call me? You can't blame me for this, Lin Yi said innocently. I was about to tell you that it was junk mail when you came down. Lin Yi looked at her up and down. You didn't buy something shady, right? Were you afraid that I'd see it? What are you talking about? I'm not the kind of person you think I am. Then why are you so nervous? Lin Yi smiled. Did you buy an electric boyfriend? Electric boyfriend? What is that? Can a boyfriend charge? Ah, uh, let's change the topic. Let's not talk about the boyfriend. Lin Yi said. You haven't made yourself clear yet, so why should we change the topic? Ji Qingyun replied, I don't want to change the topic either, but I don't mind if you stay naked, Lin Yi said with a shrug. Ji Qingyun lowered her head abruptly and noticed that the clip on the towel was a little loose. It did indeed look like she was naked. Don't look at it so blatantly. It exposed itself. What could I do? Ji Qingyun also knew that she was in the wrong. Thus, she carried her notebook and went upstairs. When she came down, she had already finished tidying up. She was wearing a beige body hugging dress that accentuated her curvy figure. Her hair was tied up in a bun and there was a diamond brooch on her chest. One look and one could tell that it was expensive. What do you think of this outfit? Give me some advice. Ji Qingyun asked. Why do I feel like you're not going to a class reunion? It's more like a beauty contest. Ji Qingyun said. That's exactly what I want. A lot of girls are going. I can't let them beat me. Lin Yi said. Lin Yi thought about it and realized that Ji Qingyun had a point. People nowadays were very materialistic and judged others by their looks. It was understandable why she was dressed like this. I think it's pretty good. Let's go if you're ready. If I remember correctly, you still owe me 8s squats. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Ji Qingyun's face was a little red. It's just 8s squats. I'll return it now so you won't have to use it again. Since you said so, I won't stand on ceremonies. With that, Lin Yi leaned back on the sofa like a grandpa. Please start your performance. Ji Qingyun pulled the stool over and was about to start when she suddenly stopped what she was doing. Go close the curtains and check if there's anyone outside. Lin Yi was speechless. You're just doing an S squat. Why do you make it sound like you're having an affair? Have you forgotten the last time my dad saw me? My mom called me a few times after the incident, and I'm about to be shamed, Ji Qingyun said. If someone else sees me again, I might as well drop dead. Alright, since you've said that, I'll just work hard and close the curtains. 
You're the one who's having fun, all right. Don't say that either. As the president of a company, keeping your promise is a most basic character trait you should have. Tisk, you only know how to make excuses. Lin Yi closed the curtains on both sides of the floor to ceiling windows. The brightly lit villa turned dark in an instant. Ji Qingyun held onto the chair, her face slightly red. She twisted her plump waist and did 8s squats. Compared to the first time, Ji Qingyun's movements were much better, and her figure was exquisite. Ji Qingyun's movements were indeed more attractive than those of the female streamers. I've fulfilled my promise. We're even. Okay. Wait for me for a while, then we'll set off. Ji Qingyun went into the fridge and took out a pair of black stockings. After this, she put them on her slender legs to accentuate her slender figure. After putting them on, Ji Qingyun looked at herself in the mirror in a smug manner. She was very satisfied with her appearance. Let's go to Zhonghai Hai Luhui. Zhonghai Hai Luhui was a five-star restaurant that specialized in seafood. It was awarded three Michelin stars in the previous year. The taste and consumption were top-notch. Before leaving, Lin Yi pointed at the curtains. Aren't you going to open it? No, it'll be dark by the time I get back. I'll save myself the effort. Lin Yi nodded and walked out first. However, he stopped as soon as he stepped out of the house. Why aren't you moving? Ji Qingyun asked from behind. I just saw someone I know. You have friends who live here. I just met him yesterday, but you might be more familiar with him. Ji Qingyun looked up and realized that her parents were standing in the courtyard. Chapter 25. We're both adults, we understand. Are you two done? Antai was grinning from ear to ear when he saw Lin Yi. Look, wasn't I right? Isn't this guy so good looking? He really is. He's half a head taller than Qingyun, and they look good together, Song Mingui, Qingyun's mother, said with a smile. Ji Qingyun was stunned. You, when did you guys come? We've been here for more than 10 minutes, Ji Antai said. The curtains were drawn in the room, and we were afraid of disturbing your work, so we didn't dare to go in. Ji Qingyun wished she could find a hole in the ground to hide in. What she was most afraid of really came true. Dad, Mom, let me explain. I was changing just now, so I closed the curtains. It's not what you think. No need to explain. We've been through this before, and you're a big girl now. It's normal for things like this to happen. We understand, Mingui said. Lin Yi could tell from her kind eyes that her daughter had finally grown up. Mom, what are you thinking? It's really not what you think. I was just changing, Mingui said. Okay, okay, okay. I won't talk about it anymore. I'll treat it as you changing your clothes. Ji Qingyun was helpless. She would not be able to clear her name even if she jumped into the Yellow River today. Okay, but why are you making that expression? I know you're thin-skinned, so let's not talk about this, Song Mingui remarked. You're already so grown up, so just be careful. We won't get involved. At that moment, Ji Anti interrupted, Old woman, I think they're going out. Let's not stay here anymore. If there's anything, we can talk about it later. Song Mingui nodded and looked at Lin Yi kindly. Lin, you're with our Qingyun now, so we won't treat you as an outsider anymore. Her grandfather's birthday is the day after tomorrow. You have to come. Okay, okay. Lin Yi couldn't refuse in front of his elders, so he nodded and agreed. As for whether he would go or not, he would decide later. All right, then we won't bother you anymore. Go out and have fun. After giving them some advice, Ji Antai and Song Mingui got in the Audi A6 and left. Ji Qingyun was speechless. She wanted to die. Did the two of you come all the way here to humiliate me? President Ji, are you leaving or not? Yes, of course I'm leaving. Qingyun did not want to stay here any longer. Please place an order. Qingyun, can you not comfort me so badly at a time like this? At the end of the day, anger was temporary, and Ji Qingyun still placed the order. Some things were just a matter of principle, and since Lin Yi didn't want to waive the order, she wouldn't force him. The order was successfully taken, and Lin Yi sent Ji Qingyun to the central hall. Wait for my call tonight. Okay, I'll be there. Lin Yi was about to turn around and leave when a push message came from the app. It was a five-star review from Ji Qingyun. Not bad, not bad at all. You're pretty well behaved. Just then, the system's notification sounded. Congratulations, host. Safe driving for 100 kilometers. Reward 200,000 experience points. Job completion. 55%. Reward. 21% of DD company shares. Looking at the reward displayed in his mind, Lin Yi realized that he was not just seeing things. It was indeed 21% of the shares. 
It had only been a short while, yet, he had actually become Didi's boss. 21% of the shares was not humongous, but it was not a small amount either. Excitement. Dot dot. Yang Cheng, Didi's headquarters, CEO's office. Ring, ring, ring. CEO Cheng Shuang's phone rang. All right, I understand. I respect your choice and hope to have the opportunity to work together again in the future. I need their contact information. Just send it to me via private email. After a simple call, Cheng Shuang hung up and called his secretary in. Director Cheng, are you looking for me? Inform the executives above the level of general manager to come to the meeting room for a meeting. Got it, Director Cheng. I'll go inform them now. Ten minutes later, all the executives of Didi Company arrived at the meeting room. Cheng Shuang looked at everyone and said, I just received a call. The two shareholders of our company have sold their 21% shares to a person named Lin Yi. I need to send someone to contact him. It would be best if he could be invited to our company as a guest. They actually bought 21% of the shares in one go. The executives could not believe their ears. With Didi's current valuation, buying 21% of the shares would cost at least 10 billion. Who was this mysterious tycoon called Lin Yi? He bought so many shares without a peep and became Didi's second largest shareholder. That's right, this news is absolutely true, Cheng Shuang said. But I don't have much information, because all the transactions were completed over the phone. No way, such a big deal was completed over the phone. Isn't that a bit too hasty? It's very likely that some secret consortium made a move, but that's just my guess, Si Heng Shuang said. Now, I only know his name is Lin Yi, from Zhonghai. Contact number, 152 asterisk. Cheng, leave this task to me. My home is in Zhonghai, and I am familiar with the environment there. The speaker was a woman in her 30s, with wavy hair and a white suit, she gave off the air of a working woman. The woman's name was Tian Yan. She was Didi's vice president, and Cheng Shuang thought highly of her. All right, I'll leave this task to you. Try your best to understand the situation there. It'd be best if you could invite him to Yang Cheng. I'll try my best. Dot dot. Lin Yi wasn't in a hurry to leave. Instead, he looked up Didi Company's situation on his phone. The headquarter was in Yangcheng, and its market value was around 50 billion yuan. If he sold his shares, he would be able to get at least 10 billion yuan out of it. Lin Yi thought about it. With his current situation, there was no need for him to cash out. He was not short of money either. He could just treat them like egg-laying hens. Wouldn't it be great to get a few hundred million yuan in dividends every year? Looking at the attribute panel, Lin Yi was delighted to find that his job completion rate had reached 55%. He only needed to complete another 35% to unlock a new job. However, the system had clearly stated that there would be a generous reward when the job completion rate reached 100%. It was better to wait until the completion rate reached 100% before unlocking a new job. After making the plan, Lin Yi prepared to drive back to Jojo Pavilion. It was already his home, so he had to go there and take a look. I'm ready to take orders, from Starbucks to Jojo Pavilion area. Chapter 26 Do you think I need that kind of money? Lin Yi was about to pause the order when he heard the notification on his phone. The person who placed the order was going to the same place as he was. Without thinking, Lin Yi chose to accept the order. The system missions and occupational proficiency rating were all sent through the order. He couldn't be too lazy it was on the way anyway. Lin Yi took a look at the map after receiving the order. Starbucks wasn't far from Zongtang's Hailuhui, only about 200 meters away. It was just around the corner. At this time, there was a tall woman standing in front of the Starbucks. She was taking selfies with a cup of coffee in her hand. This angle isn't good, delete it. This one doesn't include the Starbucks plaque, either. This one's not bad, I'll leave it to you. After the selfie was taken, the woman deleted picture after picture. Finally, she kept the few pictures that she was most satisfied with and shared on her moments. After drinking so much coffee, I still love Starbucks the most. Why do other coffees taste as bad as foot wash? After sending the pictures to her moments, a few foot kissing likes quickly appeared, which made the woman very satisfied. What the hell? Didn't they say that the distance was only 200 meters away? It's been a few minutes, and they're still not here. The woman could not help but complain that her car hadn't arrived yet. At this moment, there was quite a commotion on the street. Look, it's the Pagani Zonda. The appearance of this car is too exaggerated. 
It's much more flamboyant than a Lamborghini. Compared to a Lamborghini, this car is his ancestor. Upon seeing the Pagani driving over, many people took out their phones to take pictures. This kind of car was not common, so they had to take pictures as a memento. Under everyone's gaze, Lin Yi's Pagani stopped in front of the woman. Are you Ms. Shu with card number ending in 0389? Because the order did not show the user's name, Lin Yi could only address her this way. Yes, it's me, Lin Yi said. Xu Yang was confused as she watched the Pagani stop in front of her. She didn't know what was going on. Could it be that her luck with men because she had dressed up? Get in the car, Ji get in the car. Xu Yang couldn't believe it. Did she really hear him right? Luck with women came from the heavens, and she had just been blessed with the favor of a rich second generation. Oh, okay. With that, she opened the door and got into Lin Yi's car under everyone's envious gazes. H hello. Xu Yang looked very reserved as she got into Lin Yi's car. It was her first time riding in super a car in her 20 plus years of life. She found everything new, but she did not take any photos because of her pride. There was a handsome guy beside her, so she had to be more reserved. Hello, Lin Yi replied. I'm Xu Yang, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Lin Yi replied simply as he continued. Driving, I'd like to ask, why did you choose me? And where are you taking me? Xu Yang was very careful as she spoke. The person sitting next to him was a rich second generation kid driving a Pagani. It was her first time meeting someone like that, and she could not afford to make him unhappy. Now that he had taken the initiative to extend her an olive branch, her life might just change forever. I chose you, Lin Yi looked at Xu Yang. Didn't you call me via Didi? You should have chosen me, right? And you've already written down your address. You said you were going to Jojo Court. Why are you asking me where I'm going? Huh, Xu Yang was confused. W what did you say? You're a Didi driver. Yeah, why? Who drives a sports car to do Didi? Xu Yang asked. New service. F asterisk CK. Xu Yang cursed. I was so happy for nothing. All I did was order a Didi. Lin Yi was speechless. His expression changed so quickly. After learning Lin Yi's identity, Xu Yang took out her phone and took hundreds of pictures. She only stopped when there was nothing left to take pictures of. Your company is quite interesting. You actually have a luxury car business. Is it to create a sensation? Xu Yang said casually. Who said this car belongs to the company? Lin Yi said, this car belongs to me. Stop acting cool. Do you think you can get me just by saying that? Dream on. Lin Yi was speechless. Do I look like I'm acting cool to you? Bro, do you think I don't have a brain? Xu Yang said. I've lived for so many years, but I've never heard of a rich second generation coming out to run Didi. You're just a stinking laborer. It's convenient to promote the company, so stop bragging. You can't fool me. What do you mean stinking laborer? Lin Yi said, aren't you a laborer too? I may be a laborer, but my profession is much more advanced than yours, Xu Yang said. People like you should go and try to trick those ignorant girls. You're not my type, so you don't have the right to flirt with me. Creek. Lin Yi stepped on the brake, almost throwing Xu Yang out. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you hitting the brakes so hard? Xu Yang cursed. If you were so awesome, you could have bought your own car. Why did you call for a Didi? Lin Yi said, I'm sick of seeing your plastic surgery face. Don't ruin my appetite for dinner. Get lost. You stinking bastard. How dare you scold me? Who do you think you are? I'm a consumer and I'm God. Believe it or not, I'll give you a bad review. It doesn't matter. Lin Yi felt like he was out of luck. He thought that it was on the way, so he accepted the order. However, he didn't expect to meet such a mood killer. Didn't you tell me to get lost? I won't get lost, Xu Yang said arrogantly. Not only will I give you a bad review today, I'll also call in to complain. You can report me all you want, but if you don't get out, I'll kick you out. Lin Yi's cold face made Xu Yang a little nervous. If she got into a fight and got their clothes dirty, she wouldn't be able to apply for a job at Nine Provinces Pavilion. All right, just you wait, I won't let this matter rest. I'll wait. After Xu Yang got out of the car, Lin Yi sprayed perfume into the car for quite a while. He barely managed to cover up the B asterisk TCHY smell. He had not driven far when he received a system notification on his phone. It was a bad review. It had to be Xu Yang, and Lin Yi didn't care. Why would he be afraid of that? Just as he was about to reach the Jojo Pavilion, Lin Yi's phone rang. It was an unfamiliar number. 
Is that Lin Yi? A middle-aged man's voice came from the other end. It's me. What's wrong with you? How dare you scold a passenger? The person's complaints were all sent to the headquarters, and I got scolded so badly. If there's a next time, I'll deduct money from your deposit account. Lin Yi guessed who the caller was from the tone of his voice. It was probably Didi's regional agent, or else they would not have spoken to him in such a tone. Deduct whatever you want. Do you think I'm short of money? Oh boy, you've grown up. Believe it or not, I will ban you from operating. Lin Yi smiled. If it were the past, such a threat would still work on him. However, now that he was a big shareholder in Didi, why would he be afraid of this? If you dare to stop me from working, I hope you think about the consequences, Lin Yi narrowed his eyes and said lightly. Chapter 27 He was the stupid driver. Lin Yi ended the call and drove to Jojo Pavilion. The security guard at the door welcomed him in. Hello, Mr. Lin, thank you for your hard work. When Lin Yi drove to Villa No. 1, he saw a fat middle-aged man running over, panting. Hello, Mr. Lin, let me introduce myself first. I'm the property manager of Jojo Pavilion, Jo Zan. Hello, Lin Yi extended his hand. Hello, hello, Jo Zan shook Lin Yi's hand in a flattered manner. He didn't expect the rich man who bought nine villas in one go to be so easygoing. Mr. Lin, our property services include a personal butler service. We are making arrangements for the candidates and will try to send them to you as soon as possible, Jo Zan said. I'll take you to familiarize yourself with the environment today. Don't worry about the environment. I'll take my time to look around later, NL Yi said. Let's take a look inside first. Okay, okay, okay. Follow me, Mr. Lin. Lin Yi pushed open the door and entered. The modern and simple design style was in line with Lin Yi's aesthetic standards, and he was very satisfied with it. Mr. Lin, all the stone materials in the nine villas are from the surface mines in the Alps. The Louvre, Versailles, and Notre Dame are all made of this material. The furniture in the house is made of mahogany, which is a rare wood species. Without a private relationship, these things are normally do not pass customs. Furthermore, the chandelier on top of the head is also made of natural crystals. The golden lines on the handrails of the staircase are also painted with pure gold powder. And, Jo Zan explained everything in detail. In short, it was expensive. Everything in the villa was of the highest standard in the world. Even a tiny screw was no exception. Only then did Lin Yi truly understand what it meant to be inhumane. Under Jo Zan's guidance, Lin Yi realized that the developer was very considerate. Not only did they prepare daily necessities, they even prepared the tea, rice, oil, salt, soy, vinegar, and tea in the kitchen with great detail. This was not something that an ordinary high-end residential area could provide. In reality, this was not something that was available from the very beginning. It was something that the property manager had specially gone off to purchase after learning that Lin Yi had bought the house here. Ring, ring, ring. Jo Zan's phone rang at this moment. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I have to ask Mr. Lin's opinion first. For me, Lin Yi asked after Jo Zan hung up the phone. Mr. Lin, the thing is, we've urgently selected a few personal butlers for you. They've already passed the interview, so it's up to you to decide who to keep them. Jo Zan explained, For what now? What do you need me to do? Lin Yi asked, After today's final round of interviews, we've selected six people who are currently in the property office. If you have time now, we don't we go and take a look together. Jo Zan said with a smile, If Mr. Lin doesn't have much time, we can do it another day. Don't worry, it just so happens that I'm free now. I'll go and take a look later. Okay, then I'll have to trouble Mr. Lin. This way, please. Ellipsis. The property office of Jojo Pavilion was located in a two-story building. In order to avoid disturbing the scenery of the residential area, it was set up across the road, next to the sales office. At this time, there were five young women with different styles sitting in the conference room on the second floor of the building. They were all between the ages of 25 and 30. There were cute girls with ponytails, cool girls, quiet and virtuous young women, young and slim female college students, and so on. In short, any style of women could be seen here. Their goal was to satisfy Lin Yi's preferences to the greatest extent. On the second floor, a man and a woman were sitting in front of the deputy general manager's office. The man was in his 40s, and his body was thin. He was the deputy general manager of the Jojo Pavilion, Pei Hao. There was a young woman next to him. 
It was Xu Yang, whom Lin Yi had met earlier. What's wrong with you? Didn't I tell you to come earlier? To be late for such a big thing, if Zhou Zan were here, you'd already be out of the running, Pei Hao said. Don't mention it, brother Hao. I met a retarded Didi driver on the road. We quarreled on the way, and he even kicked me out of the car. Otherwise, I would have arrived long ago. In the past, Xu Yang worked in a KTV, and Pei Hao was a regular customer there. Because he was generous, they got to know each other very quickly. She even added him on WeChat. After this, Xu Yang had asked Pei Hao to contact him for this job. All right, let's not talk about this anymore, but let me remind you, if you succeed in applying for the position of personal butler, you are not allowed to make such mistakes again. Brother Hao, don't worry. As long as you can help me get this job, I will definitely not let you suffer any losses. The final decision on this matter is not up to me. I can only put in a good word for you and give you some advice. In the end, it's up to Mr. Lin, Pei Hao narrowed his eyes and sized Xu Yang up. Even so, I feel that the other candidates' conditions are not as good as yours. Your chances of getting this are still very high. I think so too. Which of those coquettish B asterisk TCHES out there can compare to me? Xu Yang puffed out her chest and in a very confident manner. If she could get this job, it would be a huge advantage for her. This way, she would have better opportunities to rise to the top. Thinking of this, Xu Yang could not stop smiling. She was slowly but surely getting into the high life. Just thinking about it was enough to satisfy her. Ring, ring, ring. Pei Hao's phone rang at this time. Okay, I got it. After a simple reply, Pei Hao hung up the phone. Then, he stood up and patted Xu Yang's butt. Let's go. Zhou Zan has already brought Mr. Lin over. Let's go to the meeting room first. Brother Hao, don't worry. I will definitely not let you down. Don't just say it, use your actions to show it. I know, the two of them left the office together and went to the meeting room next door. When he saw the other five women, Xu Yang's expression was filled with disdain. She did not take these people seriously at all. You think you can compete with me? Look at yourself. A few minutes later, the door to the meeting room was pushed open and Lin Yi and Zhou Zan walked in one after the other. It's you. Upon seeing Lin Yi, Xu Yang's anger flared up. Thinking about what happened just now, she could not help but get angry. A stinky person actually came here. What qualifications did he have? Pei Hao, panicked, was this idiot crazy? She actually dared to talk to Mr. Lin like that. Xu Yang, what are you doing? As a qualified personal butler, it was a core principle to not show one's emotions. Xu Yang actually shouted here. What kind of etiquette was this? Brother Hao, he is that brainless driver that I met on the road. Chapter 28. Ji Qingyun's Admirer. What's wrong with this woman? Why is she here? Lin Yi asked. He had not expected to run into Xu Yang here, either. She looked like she was here to apply for a job as a personal butler. What does it have to do with you where I am? How dare you show your face here? Do you know what kind of place this is? Xu Yang crossed her arms in front of her chest and looked at Lin Yi arrogantly. The thought of being scolded out of the car made her furious. Slap. Pei Hao could not take it anymore and slapped Xu Yang in the face. Are you FC King crazy? How dare you talk to Mr. Lin like that? Xu Yang was stunned. You, why did you hit me? Mr. Lin is the owner of the Jojo Pavilion. Why do you think I hit you? H he's the owner of the Jojo Pavilion. Xu Yang's jaw dropped, and her eyeballs almost popped out of her head. He's just a DD driver. How can he be the owner of the Jojo Pavilion? Xu Yang said, I came here in his car, and there's even an order history on my phone. Can't he buy a villa in the Jojo Pavilion if he drives for Didi? Lin Yi asked back, this. Suddenly, Xu Yang had a moment of realization. Perhaps she had misunderstood from the beginning. That Pagani Zonda might really be his car, and he might only be driving for Didi to experience life. M. Mr. Lin, I know I'm wrong. I hope you won't lower yourself to my level. Please give me another chance. Zhou Zan, get this person out. The meeting room is filled with the smell of trash. It's a little pungent. The other women couldn't help but snicker. Mr. Lin was really humorous. If they could work for such a tall, rich, and handsome man a job, they would even take less pay. Ms. Shu, you're not welcome here. Please leave quickly, otherwise I'll have to call security. Xu Yang turned around and looked at Pei Hao. This was her last lifeline. What are you looking at me for? Get lost. Pei Hao cursed. If Mr. Lin found out that he knew her, he might be implicated as well. 
Without any explanation, Pei Hao pulled Xu Yang away so that he would not be implicated. The meeting room became quiet after this. The few women who came to apply for the job were all restless. They had to leave a good impression on Mr. Lin so that their chances would be higher. Mr. Lin, the remaining five are the personal stewards we've selected for you, Zhou Zan said. Lin Yi looked at the five of them. They were all decent looking, but their temperaments seemed a little lacking. None of them are satisfactory. Lin Yi shook his head. Let them all go back. Give each of them 5,000 yuan. Don't make their time coming here have been for nothing. I'll reimburse you later. Zhou Zan shook his head secretly. He had carefully selected the five women here, but Mr. Lin wasn't satisfied with any of them. The taste of rich people was really particular. The five women were very disappointed that they weren't chosen by Lin Yi. Although they could get 5,000 yuan as compensation, it was still a pity that they could not stay. After returning home alone, Lin Yi walked around once more and took a comfortable bath. He enjoyed it very much. Buzz buzz buzz. At around 9 p.m., Ji Qingyan sent a WeChat message. Come pick me up at Zongtang Hailu. I'll be done soon. Okay. After hanging up, Lin Yi took his car keys and drove to the hotel parking lot. When are you coming out? Lin Yi asked through WeChat. Right away. Give me a few minutes. There's a place to rest in the lobby. You can go sit there for a while. Ji Qingyan said very considerately. Okay. Bored, Lin Yi went to the lobby and ordered a cup of coffee. He turned on his phone and started to kill time. A few minutes later, the elevator door opened and a dozen people came out. Yan Yan, we haven't had a gathering together for a long time. Let's find a place later to have round two. The woman who spoke was half a head shorter than Ji Qingyun and her face was slightly red. It was obvious that she had drunk quite a lot. It's getting late. I have to go back. What are you afraid of? With our escort, Ding Yi, here, we will definitely be able to send you back safely after the games. Don't worry. After this, a man named Ding Yi, who was wearing a casual suit and a Cartier watch, smiled and said. Yan Yan, we haven't seen each other for a few years. It's not easy to get together, so we should have fun. We might not have the chance again in the future. I still have work to deal with when I go back, and I've already called for a car. A car? Using Didi? Yes. Ji Qingyan nodded and said. Yan Yan, Didi is not safe these days, the short woman said. It's been reported on the news several times. If they meet a good-looking girl, the driver will often plot against them. I've seen the news too. Another girl said, Qingyun, with your figure and face, even a driver without any inappropriate thoughts would be seduced and forced to commit a crime. I think it's better to let Ding Yi send you. When they were in school, the two of them were like a beautiful couple. Now, the gang were trying their best to set them up. It's okay. The Didi driver is my friend. Don't worry. Ji Qingyun explained. Yan Yan, you're really amazing. You even know friends at this level. Ji Qingyun's classmates could not understand her behavior at all. She graduated from a famous school and came from a wealthy family. Her path to starting a business was smooth, so how could she know friends who drove Didi? People of such low status weren't even in the same world as Ji Qingyun. Ji Qingyun nodded with a smile. She didn't say anything else, but instead looked around. Then, she saw Lin Yi on the sofa in the lobby. Lin Yi. Lin Yi stood up when he saw Ji Qingyun walking toward him. Let's go. Yan Yan, is he your friend? Ji Qingyun's female classmates were all stunned when they saw Lin Yi. He was so handsome that he could easily debut at AC level position. No wonder Yan Yan would make such a friend. It's because he's handsome enough. Yeah, if it were me, I wouldn't mind making this friend either. The boys couldn't stand it anymore when they saw the girls whispering to each other. At the end of the day, you guys graduated from a famous school. You're behaving a bit too much like a nymphomaniac, aren't you? The person who spoke was Wu Yongbo. He had been Ding Yi's roommate in college, and they were very close. We're just admiring him. What's the point of being handsome? Wu Yongbo said nonchalantly. No matter how handsome you are, you're still a Didi driver. What's wrong with being a Didi driver? Lin Yi asked back, nothing. Yongbo smiled playfully. I just think you're lucky to have a friend like Qingyun. What's wrong with making friends with her? I'm not a bootlicker. I don't feel honored. Qingyun, your friend isn't that capable, but he's got quite the temper. Yongbo smiled. He drives for Didi, yet he's got a sense of superiority. Chapter 29. Didi is only for entertainment. Ji Qingyun's expression changed slightly. He has enough wealth. Qingyun, don't joke around. 
What wealth can a person driving for Didi have? Wu Yangbo said, with Brother Yi's level, he easily crushes him. What are you talking about? Ding Yi said, he is still Ching Yin's friend. We have to be polite when we speak. There are 360 lines. Every line has its own champion. There is no distinction between noble and lowly professions. We cannot look down on others. Ha ha, what you said is right. Although there are no distinctions between noble and lowly professions, there is a distinction between noble and lowly salaries, Wu Yangbo said. You have a PhD from Harvard. After you returned to China, you received 60 million in venture capital. A few days ago, you even took out a fully equipped Mercedes-Benz's G-Glass. I reckon that even if he drives for Didi for the rest of his life, he will never be able to afford such a car in his lifetime. The group of women nodded one after another. The words were not pleasant to hear, but they were very reasonable. Ding Yi had just returned from overseas, and the venture capital had come to him on their own accord. With just a few words, he had received $60 million. Although he was handsome, he might not be able to earn so much money in his lifetime. Therefore, his words were indeed a little arrogant. Ji Qingyun was speechless and even felt a little embarrassed. If she had known that they would be like this, she would not have attended this class reunion. It's getting late, let's go back, Ji Qingyun said. The two of them walked out together, and Ding Yi and the others followed. DD, just as they walked out, they saw a white Mercedes-Benz G-Class with its headlights turned on. This car is really beautiful. A few women could not help but exclaim, my husband loves this car, but he was short of money and ended up buying a domineering car. Everyone says that owning a Mercedes-Benz G-Class is every man's ultimate dream. Ding Yi, it seems that you also had such feelings. I also bought it blindly, Ding Yi said. The main thing is that this car is not considered expensive. It is only slightly more than 2 million yuan, which is within my budget. Ha ha, brother Yi, you are already very pretentious when you say that. A car that is slightly more than 2 million yuan, and you still say that it is not expensive. Aren't you trying to anger me? Wu Yangbo teased. To be honest, after I work hard for a few more years, I'll buy a sports car to drive. That's a man's ultimate dream. I remember when I was in university, you said that your favorite car is the Pagani Zonda. After you buy it, you have to let us experience what it feels like to ride in one, Wu Yangbo said. Forget about the Zonda, Ding Yi said regretfully, the price of the Sun of the Wind is now as high as 28 million yuan in the country. Even if I work hard for my whole life, I might not be able to drive it. At most, I'll buy a Lamborghini. I don't even dare to think about the Zonda. Damn, damn, damn. Ding Yi, look, there seems to be a Zonda park there. Hearing the other boy's words, Ding Yi and the others looked over. It immediately caused waves of exclamations. Oh my god, it really is the Zonda. Ding Yi and the others walked over, wanting to take a closer look. This supercar had a price of 28 million dollars. Ding Yi, is this your ultimate dream? A girl asked. That's right, Ding Yi said enviously. This car has a 6.0L dual supercharged V12 engine with a maximum power of over 700 horsepower and a 0 to 100 speed of 3.2 seconds. There are only a few of them in China. I didn't expect to meet them in Zhanghai. There are too many rich people in Zhanghai, Wu Yangbo said. Although we are all successful in our careers now, in the eyes of the top rich people, we are probably nothing. Yeah, Ding Yi smiled. Let's just earn some money. If we can't afford a Zonda, we should at least buy a Lamborghini to play with. Cough cough cough. Lin Yi coughed a few times as he stood behind them. You've been watching for so long. You should be done, right? Can you give way? What? You want to look at it too? Wu Yangbo teased. Go ahead, but don't touch it. If you damage it out, you'll make Ching Yin suffer. Lin Yi pressed the car keys in his pocket. Pagani's xenon headlights lit up, and the gullwing door opened slowly like a wing. Ding Yi and the others were stunned by this action. F asterisk CK, what's going on? The owner is here. Ding Yi frowned slightly. Maybe the owner is unhappy to see us standing here. Let's stand back. It's possible. This car is almost 30 million dollars. If it is damaged, not only will the owner feel sorry for it, we won't be able to afford the compensation. Exactly. Ding Yi and the others stepped back. If they offended the owner of the car and got scolded again, it would not be worth it. Kid, the owner of the car is here. What are you still doing there? Get out of the way quickly. Don't embarrass yourself there. Ji Qingyun was embarrassed to death. How could she have such a bunch of arrogant classmates?
Let's go. Okay. Lin Yi and Ji Qingyun got into the car together, leaving Ding Yi and the others dumbfounded. Kid, what are you doing? If the owner sees you, you won't even know how you died. Wu Yongbo stopped mid-sentence. Because they saw the car keys in Lin Yi's hand. They froze on the spot as if they were struck by lightning. This, this car is yours, is it not allowed? Lin Yi asked. Aren't you a Didi driver? How can this car be yours? Who said you can't drive for Didi when you own a Pagani? Lin Yi said with a smile. Don't let poverty limit your imagination. Ding Yi and the others froze on the spot. Their faces were filled with awkwardness, and they wanted to find a place to hide in. Using Pagani to drive Didi. You rich kids sure know how to play. They soon saw the headlights of the Pagani turn on. As expected, someone who can get Qingyun is not an ordinary person. Sigh, that's what I'm saying. With Qingyun's status, how could she ride an ordinary Didi? Thus, her boyfriend is a top-tier rich kid. Driving Didi is just for entertainment. Dot dot. Lin Yi, I'm sorry. I didn't know they'd be so snobbish. Qingyun said apologetically. It's fine. Lin Yi said indifferently. Should we go home? Qingyun thought for a moment. I drank a glass of red wine just now, so I'm a little dizzy. Let's go out for a walk so I can sober up. That's fine too. Let's go out for some fresh air and get rid of the smell of alcohol. Ji Qingyun fiddled with her phone. I've already placed the order. Hurry up and snatch it. Ah, uh, okay. Lin Yi didn't intend to charge her at first, but since she had placed the order on her own accord, he didn't refuse. Ji Qingyun's order was displayed on the phone very quickly, and Lin Yi grabbed it firmly. System mission. Received a 5-star rating. Reward. 100,000 experience points, 6 tenths. Lin Yi noticed that he had received 6 5-star ratings since he started using Didi. He was now on the 7th mission. If everything went as planned, he would be able to complete the mission tomorrow. 100,000 experience points meant 10% of the job completion rate. Just thinking about it was exciting. Chapter 30. Did they dare to stop my car? Lin Yi hummed a tune as he brought Ji Qingyun to the beach. There weren't many people on the beach at night, and the white waves were very eye-catching under the lights. Lin Yi looked to his right and saw his own Jojo Pavilion. If others wanted to see the ocean, they had to drive here. If he wanted to see it, all he had to do was open the window. The life of a rich man was so boring. Turn your head away, Ji Qingyun said after they parked the car. Huh, you want to change into a swimsuit? I don't have a swimsuit with me. How could I change into it? Ji Qingyun said, I want to take off my stockings and walk on the beach. If you just want to take off your stockings why are you acting as if you are changing your clothes? I'm wearing a skirt, so of course you have to turn your head away. It's not like you have a vacuum inside, what's there to be afraid of? Qingyun pinched Lin Yi's waist. What kind of person do you think I am? You women are really weird animals. If others see you wearing underwear, you will scream and call them indecent. On the beach, you can wear a bikini and let others look at you. Isn't that weird? How can it be considered the same? Ji Qingyun said, everyone on the beach wears that. Besides, I've never worn a bikini before. Why don't you just take it off now? That way, we'll be even and you can also get change. Thug, Ji Qingyun said, if you don't turn around, I'll go down and change. No, you should stay in the car. Lin Yi turned his head to avoid Ji Qingyun calling him a thug again. However, he could see the reflection from the car window. He took off his black stockings, revealing Ji Qingyun's snow white legs. He had to admit that Ji Qingyun was very sexy when she took off her stockings. He'd better enjoy this scene by himself. Let's go for a walk on the beach. No problem. When they reached the beach, Ji Qingyun took off her high heels. The sea breeze blew against her long hair. For a moment, it was hard to tell which was more beautiful, her or the sea. By the way, there's something I want to tell you, Ji Qingyun said after walking for a while. What is it? Just now when we were having dinner, my dad called. He said that I must take you to grandpa's birthday. What do you think? Lin Yi asked. I know you didn't want to go, and I refused on your behalf, but they didn't agree and insisted that I bring you over, so. Qingyun said shyly, are you going to pretend that I am your boyfriend then? Lin Yi asked. Qingyun nodded shyly. I'm at a disadvantage. Lin Yi said. I didn't say that I was the one suffering a disadvantage, but you were the one who complained first. All right, since you put in so much effort to perform the squats, I'll go with you and help you deal with them. At least you have a conscience. After walking for a while, Ji Qingyun felt much better. The sea breeze at night is a little cold. Let's go back first. 
No problem. Ji Qingyun held her phone. I'll make an order first. No need, this trip is free for you. All the orders I've taken in the past few days came from you, I can't keep picking your wool. TL note. Chinese idiom to mean keep taking advantage of. Tisk, you're the one with wool. The two returned to the car and headed toward Ji Qingyun's Yunshui Villa. A, why are all the lights on in Jojo Pavilion? Ji Qingyun asked curiously. Isn't that normal? Lin Yi said. Otherwise, it would be so dark and creepy. You don't know, do you? Ji Qingyun said. The Jojo Pavilion is the most luxurious villa in Zhanghai. There are a total of nine villas of different styles. The cheapest one cost more than 800 million yuan. It's been built for more than half a year, but because of the high price, it hasn't been sold. Therefore, at night, almost all the lights in Jojo Pavilion are turned off. This is the first time I've seen lights from Jojo Pavilion on at night. I'll drive closer then, I'll take you there, Lin Yi said. Sure, it's a way to burn time anyway. Ji Qingyun said. Lin Yi and Ji Qingyun arrived at the entrance of the pavilion together. Our company took part in the bidding for this piece of land back then, but we didn't have enough budget, so we were rejected in the first round. I didn't expect it to be end up bring turned into a mansion like this. Ji Qingyun said, at the end of the day, you're a female CEO. You don't have to be so envious, do you? I'm not envious of the house, but I heard that the scenery inside is very beautiful, and the plants are all rare species. Ji Qingyun combed her hair to the side, I heard that the swimming pool inside uses air transported water. I don't know if it's true or not. What's the big deal? I'll show you around and you'll see for yourself. Stop, 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 stop. Ji Qingyun quickly stopped Lin Yi. This is private property. Do you think this is an ordinary residential area? You can't just go in like that. Lin Yi smiled. I'm driving a Pagani Zonda. Would they dare to stop my car? Don't say that you're driving a Pagani Zonda. Even if you're driving a Boeing 747, they will stop you as long as you're not the owner of one of the Jojo Pavilion residences. I don't believe you. I think you're being overconfident. Ji Qingyun rolled her eyes at Lin Yi and said, just take a look from outside. Don't have any unrealistic thoughts. Don't say that. What if I really can go in? If you really can go in, I'll go for a swim and let you feast your eyes on the sight. Ji Qingyun said with a smile. She wasn't afraid of swimming naked, let alone going for a swim. Then I really have to give it a try. Lin Yi started the car and drove toward the door. Are you crazy? You really want to go in? Ji Qingyun shouted. You're a rich kid after all. Isn't it embarrassing to be chased out? It's okay. I'm a thick-skinned person. I'm not afraid of embarrassment. But I'm afraid of being embarrassed. Ji Qingyun said, hurry up and leave. I was just joking. Why did you take it seriously? You already said that it would be a feast for my eyes. If I didn't take it seriously, wouldn't I be a monk? Pervert. Ji Qingyun ridiculed, but try as hard as you want, there's no way they will let you in. How would you know if you don't try? Ji Qingyun was speechless. She could not persuade him anymore. Was Lin Yi not a little too conceited? He would be at a massive disadvantage. As Lin Yi drove to the entrance of the Jojo Pavilion, Ji Qingyun was nervous. She did not know what would happen next, but it would not be good. At this moment, Ji Qingyun saw more than a dozen people running out of the duty room. They were all wearing security uniforms and had serious expressions on their faces. Her heart was beating fast. The management of the Jojo Pavilion was too strict. They sent out such a huge force just to stop Lin Yi. What if Lin Yi started fighting with them? At that moment, she saw more than a dozen security guards standing in two rows, saluting to the car. The most surprising thing was that the door opened automatically. No one came to stop them. Chapter 31 I bought the entire Jojo Pavilion. Ji Qingyun was stunned. This was completely different from what she had expected. Why is the door open? And why are these people saluting you? Maybe it's because I drive a Pagani. Ji Qingyun was speechless. Was the Jojo Pavilion not the most secure villa in Zhanghai? Just because Lin Yi drove a Pagani, they let him in. Was that not a little too presumptuous? After driving to the villa area, Lin Yi found a place to park his car and prepared to take Ji Qingyun out for a walk. Although it was already dark, the villa area was brightly lit. It did not affect the view at all. On the contrary, it gave off a tranquil feeling. Let's go, let's go for a walk. It took Ji Qingyun quite a while to accept reality. After getting out of the car, Ji Qingyun's eyes were attracted by the scenery in the villa. Standing in the villa area was like being in a tropical rainforest. Lin Yi, look, there's fruit on the tree. 
Ji Qingyan said excitedly when she saw the fruit. This was the first time she had seen a fruit tree in the villa area. Don't make a fuss. If you want some, I'll pick some for you. Ji Qingyan shook her head. I don't want to eat it, I want just want to look at it. The two walked on for a while and saw a man-made river about five meters wide. Below a constructed wooden bridge were colorful koi swimming in groups, which made for a very natural beauty. Lin Yi had done a lot of research on fish. With just one look, he could tell these koi were imported from Japan. The bigger ones were sold for at least $100,000 each. The fish in this pond would not have cost less than a few million dollars. After crossing the artificial river, they spotted a 300 square meter swimming pool in front of them. It was the largest outdoor swimming pool in Zhanghai. Ahem, ahem, President Ji, you said that if I could bring you in, I'd be able to feast my eyes on a certain sight. Isn't it time to fulfill your promise for the beautiful scene in the swimming pool? A. Ji Qingyun was so embarrassed that she wanted to die. She felt that this world was filled with deep malice toward her. It was like this the last time they went to the Peninsula Hotel, and now it was like this again. What the hell, although I am a woman, I still want to protect my dignity. There's no swimsuit here, how can I swim, let's talk about it another day. Ji Qingyun said with a smile, as if she was acting cute. Seeing the clear pool water, Ji Qingyun really had the urge to give it a try. It had been a long time since she last swam, and her skills were a little rusty. It was just that the conditions did not allow it. That's fine too, I'll write this down in a notebook. We'll talk about it later. Don't worry, I, Ji Qingyun, am a woman of my word. I can't believe you have to write it down in a notebook. You stinking men are all perverts. Hey, 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 don't take your anger out on me. I'm just urging you to be a woman of your word. Tisk, Ji Qingyun said, this place is too big. I don't think we'll be able to finish touring in such a short while. Let's go back first. We're leaving already, aren't we going to the villa to look around? Lin Yi asked. They were already at the door, and Lin Yi did not want to leave anymore. It took an hour to travel to and from Jojo Pavilion in Yunshui Villa. If he had the time, he might as well enjoy it. Go to the villa, Ji Qingyun was surprised. Set aside those unrealistic thoughts. We're already lucky to be able to go to the courtyard. If you dare to go inside the villa, you'd be trespassing. Be careful, or you'll be arrested. There's no one in the villa. What are you afraid of? Lin Yi said. A twenty-something year old is too cowardly. Ji Qingyun was speechless. This has nothing to do with cowardice. It's against the law, okay. Didn't you say that the Jojo Pavilion was the most luxurious villa in Zhanghai? Don't you want to go in and see it yourself? Of course I do. Ji Qingyun teased. But this is a matter of principle. I don't do bad things, but when you're arrested, I can help you find a lawyer. What a coward. Lin Yi walked toward villa number one. Ji Qingyun was dumbfounded. Was he crazy? Was he really going in? Seeing that the situation was not quite right, Ji Qingyun trotted over in her high heels. She followed Lin Yi's footsteps and pulled his arm back. You're going to die. Let's go. Lin Yi did not move. Instead, he put his hand on the fingerprint lock. D. Welcome home. In an instant, it was as if the world had gone silent. Ji Qingyun looked at Lin Yi in disbelief. W what's going on? What else could it be? It's just a welcome home message. T this is your house. I just bought it yesterday. Ji Qingyun suddenly understood. No wonder the security guards came out to salute him when they saw Lin Yi's car. It wasn't because he drove a good car, but because he was the owner of this place. She pinched the soft flesh around Lin Yi's waist and said angrily, you lied to me. Mainly because you didn't ask me. Lin Yi smiled, let's go in and take a look around. I think you're trying to trick me. After that, Lin Yi and Ji Qingyun walked in together. Ji Qingyun had been to many villas in the past few years, and she always thought that her Yunshui villa was not far off. Even if some villas were more advanced than Yunshui villa, the level of sophistication would be limited. However, compared to the Jojo Pavilion, Yunshui villa was not even worthy of a second glance. This place was worthy of being called the number one mansion. Lin Yi, you must have spent a lot of money to buy this villa, right? Ji Qingyun asked curiously, I don't know the details, it's about a few billion. The house was given by the system, but Lin Yi could not say that he did not spend money and instead just gave a random number. You're lying to me again. How am I lying to you? Isn't the villas in the Jojo Pavilion worth a few billion? I'm in real estate, you can't lie to me. Ji Qingyun said, 
The most expensive villa here, the first villa, has a selling price of about 1.2 billion. How could it be possible to spend several billion? So much money would be enough to buy the entire Jojo Pavilion. That's right, I bought the entire Jojo Pavilion. Ji Qingyun was dumbfounded. Her clever brain was short circuiting at this moment. You, what did you say? You bought the entire Jojo Pavilion. The house was built just to be sold it. It shouldn't be surprising that I bought it. Did you get your money from thin air? It's easier than getting it from thin air. Ji Qingyun didn't refute, because she couldn't find any reason to refute. No wonder he wanted to experience life on Didi. He must have been too bored. I won't send you off tonight. You can stay here. You can choose whichever room you want to sleep in. All right then. I won't stand on ceremonies with you. You can send me to work tomorrow. Ji Qingyun said, but do you have pajamas here? I'm the only one living here so there are no ladies pajamas. I won't peek on you though, so you can just sleep naked. Chapter 32 Jio get Wang Tianlong Who sleeps naked? Qingyun said embarrassedly. You rich people, since you're so busy. Qingyun was speechless. You're richer than me, okay. Lin Yi found a set of pajamas for Qingyun when they reached the fitting room on the second floor. You should wear these, they're new. Qingyun didn't really care about whether it was men's and women's pajamas so long as they fit. She took the pajamas to the bathroom and prepared to take a shower. Lin Yi ignored her and went back to the master bedroom to sleep. After the shower, Ji Qingyun lay in the bedroom, unable to fall asleep. What was Lin Yi's background? How could he be so rich? Why had she not heard of him before? The next morning, Lin Yi woke up early. After the two washed up, Lin Yi sent Ji Qingyun to the company and received a five-star review. The mission notification in his mind showed that he was at eight-tenths completion. If he took on two more missions today, the mission would be completed. He didn't know what kind of explosive reward the system would give him this time. After sending Ji Qingyun off, Lin Yi drove to Peninsula Hotel. He had been busy the whole morning and had not eaten yet, so he had to get a bite first. Just as he drove to the parking lot, he saw Wang Tianlong. Boss Lin, you're here. Lin Yi nodded. Come and have something to eat. I'll get the kitchen to prepare it now. No need, I'm just here for breakfast. There's no need to make a big deal out of it. Go do what you need to do. I'll take care of myself. Lin Yi said. The hotel was already his, and the middle and high level leaders already knew of his existence. However, the ordinary employees might not even know who he was yet. It was a good opportunity for him to examine their working conditions. Okay, 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 I got it. Tianlong went back to his work, and Lin Yi went straight up to the second floor. The second floor of the hotel was a restaurant headed by a three-star Michelin chef. With the size of the Peninsula Hotel, it was definitely worthy of having such high standards. There weren't many people here for breakfast in the morning, and only half of the tables were occupied. Lin Yi found an empty seat and looked at the menu. He then ordered a few signature dishes, preparing to sample them. Look, that guy is so handsome. The girls at the next table discussed when they saw Lin Yi. He is indeed handsome. I want to get his WeChat. Then go. As long as you take the initiative, a story might develop between you two. Lin Yi's arrival instantly became the focus of all the women in the restaurant, and they would glance at him from time to time. What are you looking at? A man said to his girlfriend. Hee hee, I just looked at him. He's quite handsome. Tisk, he might be a gigolo. All the hosts in the club are that handsome. What are you talking about? What's with the attitude, calling a handsome guy a gigolo? I'm just saying. I think you're just jealous. After ordering, Lin Yi handed the menu to the waiter. Lin Yi. Just as Lin Yi was waiting for the dishes, he heard someone call his name. Looking at the person who spoke, Lin Yi instantly felt that this world was too small. Yesterday, Ji Qingyun had just fired Yu Lily, and he didn't expect to meet her at his hotel today. What a coincidence, I didn't expect for you to apply here. It is indeed quite a coincidence. Yu Lily crossed her arms in front of her chest and looked down at Lin Yi. Lin Yi, oh Lin Yi, I really underestimated you. I didn't expect you to quietly latch onto President Ji's thigh. I fired you one step ago, and then you went to complain and asked her to fire me. That's really something. Do you think it's appropriate to tell me this now? I'm a guest at the Peninsula Hotel after all. Isn't it a little inappropriate to treat God like this? Do you think you're worthy of being called the Peninsula Hotel's God? You Lily said in disdain. Why am I not? You'd better take a hike. You're just a gigolo for a rich woman. Do you really think you're a high-class person? 
The waiter ran over to Lin Yi when he saw them arguing. He whispered in his ear, Manager Yu, this customer seems to be quite special. You'd better keep your mouth shut. What's so special about him? I know his situation, Yu Lily said venomously. He used to be my subordinate. He relied on his good looks to get on the president's good side. In reality, he's just a gigolo. If he didn't have a rich wife to support him, he'd never be able to come to the Peninsula Hotel for a meal. Everyone else in the restaurant had looks of disdain on their faces when they heard Yu Lily's words. It's a good thing I didn't ask for his WeChat just now. So, it turns out he's a gigolo who sleeps with rich women. It's disgusting just, thinking about it, you really can't judge a book by its cover. He looks quite elegant, so I didn't expect him to be this kind of person. I misjudged him too, we need to learn from this. Don't just pounce on handsome guys anymore. The couple sitting at the other table had different expressions when they learned of Lin Yi's identity. See what I said, he's just a gigolo, you should believe me now, right? The man said proudly and contemptuously. You're right about that, I hate men who sleep with rich women the most. They don't rely on their own hands to work hard, and they only know how to take advantage of opportunities. It's disgusting just thinking about it. That's right, other than being a little better looking than me, he can't be compared to me in any other way. I wouldn't go begging a rich woman to support no matter how long I live. Lin Yi smiled as he listened to the others gossiping about him. I'm too lazy to talk to you. Go get Wang Tianlong. Oh, not bad, you even know our manager's name. But let me tell you, even if you get manager Wang here, it's useless. We still have a relationship, and he won't do anything to me just because of a low-level client like you. Then you can call him here and let me see his attitude. All right, for the sake of our former relationship, I'll make your death a little quicker. I'll let you see the cruelty of this society. Saying that, Yu Lily looked at the waiter beside her. Go and call manager Wang here. No need to call him. I'm already here. Wang Tianlong snorted coldly and walked over from not far away. Yu Lily went up to him and said, Brother Long, I suspect that this person has been behaving inappropriately. I suggest that the hotel security remove him to avoid affecting the dining environment of the other guests. Wang Tianlong's anger was burning in his heart. He pointed at Yu Lily's nose and cursed. Are you FC King blind? The person sitting in front of you is the owner of the Peninsula Hotel. Do you think he has been behaving inappropriately? Do you not want to work here anymore? Hurry up, pack your things and get lost. Chapter 33 I really am a shareholder. Yu Lily was stunned. She felt like she was hearing things. Manager Wang, what did you say? He's the owner of the Peninsula Hotel. That's right. The day before yesterday, Director Lin bought the Peninsula Hotel. How dare you talk to Director Lin like that? I think you should stop working here and pack up your things and leave. Everyone's head buzzed when they found out Lin Yi's identity. Oh my god, that handsome guy is the boss of the Peninsula Hotel. He's so young and promising. We've all misunderstood him. How can such a handsome and rich little brother be a gigolo? As expected, every handsome person has an extraordinary identity. We're all judging a gentleman's heart based on the words of a scoundrel. The couple sitting at the other table had awkward expressions on their faces as well. That's a slap to the face, isn't it? He's a good-looking guy, but you called him a gigolo. You have a problem with your mentality. Looks like I'll have to reconsider our relationship. You Lily looked at Lin Yi in disbelief. Lin, Lin Yi, are you really the boss of the Peninsula Hotel? Yu Lily's voice trembled as she spoke. She was obviously frightened. Didn't Tianlong tell you my identity? Do you think he would lie? If you really have such a background, why did you work at Chaoyang before? I'm allowed to experience life, right? All right, stop talking nonsense. Tianlong continued, hurry up and pack your things and get out of here. Don't embarrass yourself further. Lin Yi, listen to me. I know I did something wrong. I used to target you when I was at Chaoyang. I've already realized my mistake. Please give me another chance. I can give you another chance, but I'll see if Tianlong dares to keep you. Tianlong shivered. He was sure that if he dared to give you Lily another chance, he would also need to pack up and leave. Hurry up and stop talking nonsense. Don't ruin Director Lin's appetite. In the end, Tianlong called for security and chased you Lily out. He didn't want to drag himself down by spouting nonsense here. Director Lin, I'm really sorry for ruining your appetite. It's okay. Tell them to hurry up and serve the dishes. I'm hungry. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell the kitchen to hurry up and serve the dishes. Lin Yi stretched after the meal and prepared to drive for Didi. 
There were only two orders left, and he would get the reward from the system when he was done. Awesome. Ring, ring, ring. Before Lin Yi could start taking orders, his phone rang. It was an unknown number. Hello, hello, Mr. Lin, let me introduce myself first. I'm the senior vice president of Didi Chuxing, Tian Yan. And then, what's the matter? Well, you bought 21% of our shares yesterday. As the second largest shareholder of the group, I'd like to talk to you as the company's representative. I'm wondering if you have the time now. Lin Yi wasn't surprised to receive a call from Didi's Chuxing. The system had helped him buy 21% of their shares. Logically speaking, they all wanted to contact him. However, now was not the time to meet them. There were only two more missions to complete, so he had to finish them first. I have something to do now, let's talk about it later. Okay, I'll call you later. Tian Yan was very polite and did not waste any time. As an elite in the workplace, she knew that time was precious for people like Lin Yi. Wasting a second of his time was likely to annoy him, so she hung up the phone in time. After hanging up the phone, Tian Yan's phone rang again. It was the president, Cheng Shuang. How's the situation? Has Chairman Lin agreed to meet with you? Not really. He said he had something to do, so I hung up and prepared to call him back later. Cheng Shuang was silent for a few seconds on the other end of the phone. Do you have any other arrangements? I plan to go to visit Jericho to check it out firsthand. They are Didi's biggest agent in the coastal area. I want to see if there are any problems and take care of it at the same time. Anyway, I'm free now. You can make the necessary arrangements, but the priority is on Director Lin. Don't delay the important business. Don't worry, I know what to do. After leaving Peninsula Hotel, Tian Yan took her cell phone and prepared to call a taxi. As a Didi executive, Tian Yan had already formed the habit of calling for a taxi at any time. This would help her better understand the actual operations on the ground. In the parking lot not far away, Lin Yi had just opened Didi's app when he found a suitable order. Prepare to take the order, from the Peninsula Hotel to the Jericho Company Limited. Lin Yi did not say anything else and directly snatched the order. How could he let someone steal his business from right at his doorstep? With that, Lin Yi successfully grabbed the order and drove the car to the entrance of the hotel. Seeing the silver Pagani driving towards her, Tian Yan sighed in her heart. Although the economic situation in Yang City was very developed, a car like Pagani Zonda wasn't something that would be commonly seen. Zhang Hai was indeed not ordinary. Moreover, the driver was a little handsome. Are you Ms. Tian with the card number ending 6888? Yes, that's me. Tian Yan was stunned. You are. Didn't you call for a car just now? Yes, but I called for a Didi. I, drive for Didi. Get in the car. Tian Yan was stunned for a while. What? What did you say? You drive for Didi. Doesn't it look like it? No. Tian Yan was a little confused. When did her company become so powerful? Were all the drivers under her company driving Paganis? But I do drive for Didi. Hurry up and get in the car. Okay, no matter what, Tian Yan was an elite in the workplace, and she quickly got used to Lin Yi's identity. Although she had achieved financial freedom long ago, it was her first time riding in a car of this level. It was way more advanced than her BMW 7 Series. Are you using your Pagani and driving Didi to experience life? Tian Yan asked. You could say that, Lin Yi said with a smile. The passenger was a normal one, and it would not be a problem for him to complete the order. Rich kids these days sure know how to have fun. They even use such a method to flirt with girls. I'm guessing many girls will say that they're hot when they get into your car. Lin Yi noticed that Tian Yan's temperament was similar to Ji Qingyan's. Both of them had the aura of a professional woman. However, in comparison, Ji Qingyan was more innocent. You make me sound like a scumbag, Lin Yi said. Can't I drive for? Didi if I'm driving a supercar? Yes, you can, but I have to remind you to pay attention to your words and actions. If you do anything to discredit Didi, you'll be suspended, Tian Yan said with a smile. Will I be suspended just because you say so? Of course, Tian Yan smiled at Lin Yi. I'm the senior vice president of Didi. Do you think I have the right to suspend you? Tisk, you sure have a mouth full of lies, Lin Yi said. You say you're the senior vice president of Didi, and I say I'm a shareholder of Didi. Tian Yan laughed so hard that she fell back. She then took out her work card from her bag and waved it in front of Lin Yi. This is my work card. I'm really Didi's vice president. I'm not lying to you. I'm really Didi's shareholder, Lin Yi said. 
I bought 21% of your shares yesterday, and you just called me to ask me to meet you.